Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Awakened SSSSS level dual talents, enslave the nine tailed god Ari on the spot. Chapter 21 Level 3 Ordinary Warriors, Looking for a Team. Level 2 Priests, With Control, Looking for a Leader. Brothers, Level 5 Epic Professional Team, Only Recruiting Epic Professionals. The moment Su Wu left the dungeon, he heard a chaotic sound around him. Looking up, in just over 10 minutes, more than 20 people have come to the dungeon square. On the hillside farther away, some professionals are chasing wild monsters. In the direction of Dujong City, a large number of young professionals are walking towards this side, talking and laughing. Swish, suddenly, a person ran up to Su Wu, Brother Su, is that you? Ah, who are you looking for? Su Wu turned his head and looked around. He was the only one within five meters of this position. I am Shiji Jang from class 6 of No. 2 Middle School. I'm looking for Su Wu. Sorry, I've only seen you twice at the school commendation meeting, and I can't remember what you look like. Shiji Jang said excitedly, Su Wu, Su Wu. Suddenly, the people shouting around stopped shouting. They all looked over here. The square suddenly fell into an inexplicable silence. Su Wu blinked and showed his signature fake smile, if you are looking for the city's no. One Su Wu, congratulations, you found the right one. Wow, brother Wu, Shi Ji Jiang shouted excitedly. He hurriedly stepped back, he knelt down respectfully. Su Wu hurriedly grabbed the other party, what the hell are you doing? Thank you for saving my life. Please let me complete the three kneeling and nine kowtows to express my gratitude. Shi Ji Jiang said stubbornly. Su Wu hurriedly said, Brother, it's okay, it's okay, I'll save you. Benefactor, crash, in an instant, everyone gathered towards Su Wu. Even the professional junglers in the distance, and the professional players walking on the road were shocked by the deafening shouting. In the blink of an eye, hundreds of people surrounded Su Wu. Everyone greeted him enthusiastically. Su Wu, who likes quietness, couldn't resist for a while. Looking at the crowded square, he wanted to turn around and enter the dungeon immediately. But this is not his personality. Brother Wu, we are the epic team. Follow us. Brother Wu, we are the legendary team. Follow us. Each team started to fight for it. Some teams almost fought. Click. Su Wu looked at the people around him and said calmly, everyone be quiet. Listen to me. Crash. The noise stopped immediately. The shouting behind them also listened consciously. Brothers, I received your kindness. Since everyone recognizes me as a brother, we are brothers from now on. Su Wu said cheerfully. Everyone around laughed excitedly. He said again, we are graduates with education after all. When we go out, we can't lose face for the school. We can't lose face either. So, brothers, line up to enter the dungeon, and those who need to recruit teammates can recruit in the square. Okay, we listen to you. This resonated with everyone, and countless people responded. Su Wu smiled and said again, I have two requests. Don't fight, be united. Now that the enemy has destroyed our Shenxia heart, we are the future of the empire, and we must share the same hatred and fight against the enemy, and we must not fight internally. Second, we are all people who have experienced life and death, and we can be regarded as brothers who live and die together. Since we are brothers, don't be stingy. Try to bring assistance and other brothers without affecting the development of the team. The voice fell. Su Wu turned and entered the normal difficulty dungeon. This made the people around him silent for a few seconds. Then, assist, assist, I can bring an assist here. Brother, we are an epic team. We can bring a rare professional. We are a legendary professional team, we can bring an epic professional and an assist. Suddenly, the recruitment in the square changed although there are still some requirements. But the previous dislike for low-level professionals has become friendly. At this time, Su Wu is quickly enslaving the giant axe goblin. There are two ordinary camps and one boss camp in the dark forest. There are 42 giant axe goblins in the ordinary camp. This time, the speed of the ghoul is as fast as lightning. Precise, accurate, fierce, not long, buzz. A light flashed on Su Wu's body. He upgraded again. Congratulations on reaching level 13. After Su Wu successfully enslaved all 42 giant axe goblins, his experience value reached 3,820 points. 
There are still 2,180 points away from the 6,000 experience points required to upgrade to level 14. This time he got a total of 168 fire copper crystals. 168 blood crystals. At present, Su Wu's blood crystals have increased to 317. It's time to upgrade again. He said. He took out the blood crystals. After the upgrade, Ari still needs 100 blood crystals to upgrade to level 1. Su Wu promoted Ari three times in one go this time. Ari's level reached level 4. Name, Ari. Race, Qingqiu Fox. Occupation, God Servant. Identity, Su Wu Slave. Level, 4. Strength, 1.7 million. Agility, 1.7 million. Spirit, 1.7 million plus 500. Constitution, 1.7 million. Attribute pool, 0 unlimited. Equipment, life plate, skills, charm sorcery, attribute pool, upgrade, guidance. Talent, invincible, harmless. Attribute pool, condensing 17,000 attribute points every day. Good, Su Wu smiled cheerfully. He strode towards the last stronghold. Very soon, successfully enslaved the giant axe goblin warrior. You obtained the dedication of the giant axe goblin warrior and obtained 60 experience points for. You obtained magic weapon, goblin battle axe 4. You obtained blood crystal 4. You successfully enslaved the giant axe goblin chieftain. You receive the offering of the great axe goblin chieftain and receive 100 experience points 4. Receive magic equipment, chieftain's crown 4. Receive the only orange armor, goblin's fang 4. Receive one blood crystal 4. Buzz, in the blink of an eye. Su Wu's body glowed again. Congratulations on reaching level 14. The upgrade prompt appeared in front of him again. Su Wu did not even look at the panel and directly gathered the monster army. This time, the number of slaves in his slave space increased to 108. There are only 42 left to be filled. And his experience is. Level. 14. 627 thousandths. If this dungeon continues, I will run out of experience. If you want to upgrade, you can only conquer the Dark Forest of Hell difficulty, or go to the Thunder Valley dungeon farther away. Su Wu muttered softly, the Dark Forest is a novice advanced dungeon. There is no limit on the number of times. Before the professional level 15, the normal dungeon difficulty is used. All experience is gained, once the level exceeds 15. The benefits of the dungeon are directly zero. There is not even a normal drop. This is a protection mechanism for new professionals. To gain experience, you must enter a dungeon of nightmare difficulty or hell difficulty. Entering a dungeon of nightmare difficulty at level 14 will have the experience. Only by entering a dungeon of hell difficulty can you get the normal experience value reward. What a pity, Su Wu sighed and strode out of the dungeon. He did not have much communication with the people around him. Entered the dungeon again. This time, he entered a dungeon of hell level. Buzz. A golden light flashed. Su Wu came to the hell difficulty dungeon of the dark forest. The jungle of the dungeon became darker and more obscure. Fireflies could be seen in the darkness. Su Wu ordered the shadow assassin. Go and check the situation here. Crash. Three shadows came out of the darkness under Su Wu's feet. Su Wu leisurely summoned the ghoul. He looked at the slave space. Have the seeds been planted? Su Wu asked Ari, the nine-tailed fox. Ari responded briskly. My master has planted them. Looking around, in the slave space with a diameter of 1,214 kilometers. The goblins were being driven by Morgana to plant blue wheat in the already turned land. Ari was urging the harvest scepter to inject the vitality in the scepter into the seven-year-old gourd seed to activate its activity and let it sprout and take root. With the cooperation of the harvest scepter's skill of pulling up seedlings for growth. Crash, Hualala, a tender bud emerged from the soil. It slowly stretched out its emerald green leaves. After waiting for more than ten seconds, it began to grow. Obviously, the root system has grown. With the injection of a lot of vitality. The seven-year-old gourd seedlings grew leaves and vines. Ari used the goblin battle axe to build a gourd frame for the gourd vine to climb. Soon, when the gourd vine grew to about one meter, Ari stopped. Master, there is no vitality. Where is the other seed? Su Wu asked. Ari responded. 
I have used Vitality to activate it, and it is in a slow growth stage. We need a lot of Vitality. I understand. Su Wu nodded. He looked at another place again. There were a thousand ice buds planted there. The ice blue flowers added a touch of color to this space. When Su Wu's sight was withdrawn from the slave space, the shadow assassin who was exploring the way had just returned. They reported everything they found out to Su Wu through their spirits. Okay. Su Wu nodded. The Hell Difficulty Dungeon has two more camps than the normal difficulty dungeon. That is, it has four giant axe goblin warrior camps. And one giant axe goblin boss camp. The first four camps are all level 15 giant axe goblin warriors. The last camp is a level 20 goblin boss and goblin chieftain. Su Wu walked towards the first camp. He used the detection spell on the giant axe goblin warrior. Giant Axe Goblin Warrior Elite Monster Level 15 Strength 1000 Agility 1000 Spirit 1200 Constitution 2000 Skills Battle Cry Whirlwind Slash Ha! Huh, one more skill Su Wu smiled Don't underestimate the Giant Axe Goblin Warrior as a level 15 elite monster It is still not as strong as the ghouls Su Wu ordered the ghouls to fight Ten ghouls rushed to the goblin camp. The axe goblin warriors all roared towards the outside. Roar! A powerful war cry sounded. The ghouls were suddenly shocked and stopped. On the contrary, the shadow assassin who relied on the spirit for eyes, ears, mouth and nose was not affected at all. Nice control skills. Su Wu muttered softly. What a pity. He couldn't help but lament. The level of the axe goblin was eleven levels higher than Ari. Ari might not be able to upgrade it. Soon, the ghouls woke up from the dizzy state. They pounced on the axe goblin warriors. This time, the axe goblin warriors could fight the ghouls for more than 10 seconds. In the end, the axe goblin warriors in the entire camp were subdued one by one. Su Wu stepped forward and enslaved the axe goblin warriors who were no longer threatening. Buzz, congratulations on successfully enslaving the axe goblin warriors. You get the dedication of the Great Axe Goblin, experience plus 150 asterisk 4. You get Magic Weapon, Goblin Battle Axe 4. You get 4 Blood Crystals 4. Hum, the Blood Crystals dropped in the Hell Difficulty Dungeon are 4 times that of the normal dungeon. Su Wu didn't expect there would be such a benefit. He immediately got excited. Buzz, without waiting for the Goblin Warriors in the entire camp to be enslaved. Su Wu's body glowed with golden light. He upgraded again. Congratulations on your promotion to level 15. Su Wu first enslaved the remaining goblin warriors. He then looked at his panel. Name. Su Wu. Profession. Enslaver. The only hidden one. Level. 15. 6228 thousandths. Strength. 1509 plus 700. Agility. 1507 plus 700. Spirit. 1512 plus 950. Physique. 1509 plus 1300. Other additional attributes. Block, 500. Equipment. Golden Crow Arm Armor. Physical Belt. Imprisonment Set. Demon Necklace. Slavery Space Level 15, 108 160 Space Diameter 12 17 km. Nine Tailed Beast 1. Ghoul 11. Shadow Assassin 10. Demon 1. Goblin 85. Features. Level 2 resource space to be advanced each upgrade increases the diameter of the feature by 3 kilometers and one advancement point is added every 5 levels. Skills Slavery Level 15 Summoning Level 15 Release Level 15 Mind Chain Level 10 Transposition Level 10 Talents Seal of the King of Slavery Level 3 Slave Enhancement Level 3 Freeze Level 2 Resurrection Level 2 Professional Features 100 Fold Growth Hidden Slavery Level 15 You can force enslavement of any existence whose level does not exceed 8 levels of yours, regardless of the other party's state. Slavery Types Life, Puppet, Spirit of Wisdom, Natural Disaster, Enhancement Talent, Seal of the King of Slavery. Summoning Level 15 Summon the life you enslaved from the slave space. This skill can also send the slaves into the slave space. Slaves can be permanently solidified in the slave space. You can use this skill to enter the summoning space and leave a portal in the world that only you can enter and exit. No matter how far you are from the slave, as long as you use the skill, you can instantly summon the slave to your side. 
Release level 15 Release the slave and gain 4 times the experience points and exclusive drops according to the slave's level. Mind Chain Level 10 A continuous attack skill that releases mind chains to 3 targets. The targets anchored by the chain will be in a dizzy state and continue to suffer 110 points of spell damage per second. Consume 10 points of spirit per second. Transfer Level 10 You can instantly switch positions with any slave within a 150 meter range. Seal of the King of Slaves Level 3 SSSSS Level, your slave skill success rate is 100%, and the cost is 0. The life that is successfully enslaved by you will offer you 5 times the experience, 5 times the props, or 5 times the materials. Slave Gain Level 3 SSSSS Level, the life of your slave can be upgraded by devouring special materials, and gain 5 times the attribute and skill gain. The life permanently fixed in your slave space can leave the slave position and move freely in the activity space and recover its own injuries. The life permanently fixed in the slave space will have two opportunities to revive in the slave space and the resurrection consumes 100 spirit points. Note, the slavery that has been permanently solidified will never be freed. Frozen Level 2 SSS Level Within a range of 15 meters, all forces or targets attacking you will be frozen. Frozen state. Unable to move, attack ineffective. Duration 30 seconds. Passive trigger. Resurrection level 2 SSSS level. Three chances to revive at the anchor coordinates without carrying any belongings every 24 hours. Hum. Before, after each upgrade, the experience slot only increased by 500 experience points. After level 15, each upgrade increases by 1000 experience points. That is to say, after level 15, upgrading becomes increasingly difficult. Su Wu said to himself while looking at the panel. Su Wu looked at the skills on the panel. The enslavement skill had an additional natural disaster. This made his heart jump. Can this also be enslaved? The summoning skill had an additional ability that allowed Su Wu to enter the enslavement space. The release skill only increased in multiples. The mind chain and teleportation were the same as usual promotions, only increasing the data. The four talents also only increase the data. The duration of the passive control talent freezing is half a minute. This time, it is enough for Su Wu to do anything. Cool, Su Wu looked at the enslavement space again. After he clicked on the upgrade, he found that he still got one upgrade point. He could only upgrade the level 2 resource space feature. He immediately clicked the upgrade point on the feature. The level 3 resource space still did not bring any changes to the enslavement space. Su Wu then looked at the spoils. This time, he enslaved 21 giant axe goblin warriors. He got a total of 376 blood crystals and 94 magic weapon goblin battle axes. 176 of them were obtained by giving 4 times of blood crystals before upgrading. 200 of them were obtained by giving 5 times of blood crystals after upgrading. Ari. Use one upgrade skill on the level 15 warrior. Su Wu ordered. Ari hurriedly used the upgrade skill to squander the last 10 attribute points in her attribute pool. In the blink of an eye, the level 15 great axe goblin warrior was upgraded to level 16. What made Su Wu frown was. This guy actually only increased 10 points of 4 dimensional attributes. It can be described as horrible. The talent of the goblin is here. The monsters of Ordinary and Hell are essentially monsters with the same talent. So, they are all garbage. Su Wu sighed. Just like that, Su Wu quickly advanced towards the camp behind. When he arrived outside the last camp, he had been promoted to level 19. Starting from level 18, the experience limit of each level of experience slot changed from the previous increase of 1000 to an increase of 2000. In other words, Su Wu's current experience value is level 19 9250 13 thousandths. These four giant axe goblin warrior camps allowed Su Wu to enslave 84 goblin warriors. Su Wu still has eight empty slots left to reach 200 enslavement slots. He obtained 315 magic item goblin battle axes, 1260 blood crystals. Now, he has a total of 1661 blood crystals and 489 goblin battle axes. The battle axes are piled up in the enslavement space. Su Wu looked at the giant axe goblin chief wandering in the camp in front of him. He directly ordered the ghouls and the 15th level giant axe goblin warriors to revive. 
When the monster army approached the camp, a 1.78 meter tall female goblin walked out of the house in the camp. She was slim. She held a scepter, although her skin was green. But both her appearance and figure satisfied Su Wu's preferences. LSP's eyes lit up. A female goblin. And a king. Su Wu couldn't help but use the detection spell on her. Goblin Tribe King Gobmai Elite Boss. Level. 20. Strength. 2500. Agility. 3000. Spirit. 3600. Constitution. 3000. Skills. Multiplication. Lightning Chain. Thunder. Talent. Devouring Evolution. A monster with evolutionary talent. Su Wu was a little surprised after seeing it. This was the second monster with talent he had seen. The first one was Nine-Tailed Ari. She was a god. Even the demon queen Morgana didn't have talent. It seemed like they were going to make a profit this time. Boom. In the camp, the goblin chieftains who were at a disadvantage suddenly swelled up. They first used multiplication on themselves. Then Gobmai used it on them again. Doubled. It brings a temporary increase of four times the attribute value. This has surpassed the ghoul in some aspects. Su Wu immediately used the skill apparition. He exchanged positions with a ghoul at the door. Thunderbolt. At this time, white lightning was released by the goblin priest and goblin Mei at the same time. In the blink of an eye, wherever the white light flashed, the ghouls and the 15th level elite goblin warriors were charred. Seven or eight 15th level elite giant axe goblin warriors died on the spot. When the lightning was about to connect to Su Wu, his passive talent, Frozen, was triggered. The white electric snakes within a range of 15 meters seemed to be frozen in the air. If you look closely, they were frozen there by a ball of ice crystals. Then, Su Wu used the skills of the imprisonment set on the monsters in front of him. Imprisonment. I saw a force field quickly propped up around Su Wu. In the blink of an eye, the ten goblin chieftains and the elite boss Gobmai in the camp were instantly imprisoned in place by a black force. Su Wu quickly used the enslavement skill. Buzz. You successfully enslaved the Great Axe Goblin Chieftain. You received the Great Axe Goblin Chieftain's dedication and gained 180 experience points 5. You received the magic item, Chieftain's Crown 5. You received the only orange item, Goblin's Fang 5. You received 8 blood crystals 5. Dot dot dot. Buzz. Not long after. Su Wu's body was shining with golden light. Congratulations on reaching level 20. He was promoted again during the enslavement process. He did not check the panel. He continued to enslave. After completing all the Great Axe Goblin Chieftains, he looked at the Goblin King Gobmai. She was looking at Su Wu with an extremely greedy look. The corners of his mouth opened and closed. As if to say, pray. You are my prey. Buzz. The next second, a light flashed in Gobmai's pupils. There was a hint of disbelief in her eyes. You successfully enslaved Gobmai, the king of the goblin tribe. You received Gobmai's dedication, experience value plus 1000.6. You received 20 blood crystals 6. You received the only orange armor, goblin's fang 6. You received the only orange jewelry, pepper necklace 6. You received the purple exclusive item, Gobmai's breeding garden 6. Swish. Gobmai broke free from the imprisonment in the blink of an eye. She knelt directly in front of Su Wu. Her eyes bloomed with a ball of worship light. Great master, Gobmai swears once again that I will be loyal to you for life. Where your will is, my blade will be. Gobmai surrendered very smoothly, without any resistance. She even felt extremely fortunate to be able to surrender to Su Wu. At this time, Su Wu could already feel the strong emotion of slavery. This made him smile slightly. After reaching level 20, the slavery increase of the King of Servants seal became six times. So, after some of the Great Axe Goblin Chieftains and Gobmai were amplified, everything they dedicated was six times. At this time, Su Wu's experience has reached 11,250. To reach the 15,000 experience required for the upgrade, 3,750 experience points are needed. He ignored the others. He immediately looked at Gobmai's skills. Multiplication. The body is multiplied by two times, and the four-dimensional attribute points are temporarily multiplied by two times. Duration 10 seconds, consumes 10 spirit points, and the cooldown time is 3 minutes. Lightning Chain. 
releases a lightning chain, and the linked enemy will suffer 500 points plus 50% of the spirit value magic damage, and can connect up to 5 enemies. Consumes 200 spirit points, and the cooldown time is 1 minute. When this skill is used in the multiplied state, it can establish a temporary lightning chain network with friendly units in the same state and with the same skill, causing an additional 300 points of damage to the target, and can connect two more enemies. Thunder. Summons a lightning column, causing 1000 points plus 100% of the spirit value magic damage to the target, and stuns the target for 5 seconds. The cooldown time is 5 minutes, and it consumes 500 spirit points. Evolve Devour. It can devour various lives, gain life skills and evolve. No wonder. Lightning Chain can also form a Lightning Chain network in groups. Great. Su Wu couldn't help but marvel after seeing it. Su Wu looked at Gobmai in front of him with a smile on his face. He stretched out his hand and pinched Gobmai's forearm. This feel. It's simply unique. Very elastic. Gobmai looked at Su Wu with a slightly red cheek and a long stream of saliva flowing from the corner of her mouth. Disgusting. Ari frowned and couldn't help muttering in a low voice. Gobmai was startled and quickly gathered her thoughts and straightened her body restrainedly. Tisk, tisk, tisk. This figure is comparable to Morgana. He then looked at the spoils. Pepper fragrance necklace. Orange only. Spirit plus 500. Special effect. Temptation. Tempt the other party through sound and let the other party down. Special effect. Trust. Leave a mark of trust in the target's heart and make the target listen to you. This necklace is suitable for seducing people. Su Wu muttered softly. He moved towards the next spoils. Goblin's Breeding Garden. Purple exclusive. Type. Space treasure. Space diameter. 1 kilometer. Environment. Jungle. Function. Can store things. Can store any life in this space. Enchantment. Breeding. The breeding speed of the goblin group is increased by 10 times. What is this? Space treasure. Or an extremely rare treasure. Su Wu's eyes widened when he saw this. Wow, this is a drop that has never appeared in the Dark Forest dungeon. The rarity level of this drop is comparable to mythical equipment. Especially the space equipment that can carry life. It is even known as strategic equipment. This kind of thing would actually be offered here by the 20th level boss of Hell difficulty. It's really a miracle. Su Wu immediately looked at the space through his mind. There was a wooden house in the space. Some women's clothes were stacked in the wooden house. There was also a book called, Breeding Manual, on the table. The content above is simply indescribable. And it also has a strong brainwashing feature. Su Wu looked at Gobmai. What is this equipment for? Reporting to the master. It is used to rob men and breed. Gobmai generously stated its purpose. This is a breeding treasure given by the great goblin god. My mission is to catch enough breeding tools and then breed a tribe. What a pity. I have only been here for six months and have not met any professionals. When she said this, she looked into Su Wu's eyes, and the desire from the depths of her heart was about to become a reality and condense into a flood. After hearing this, Su Wu turned his head and looked at Ari. Can the boss of the copy be replaced? Reporting to the master. The so-called replacement does not mean changing the boss. It is just changing a soul with the same thinking and memory. Ari said solemnly. This group involves rules, I don't know how to operate it specifically. Humph. This is all arranged by the great goblin god. Gobmai said with her head held high. This involves faith. Ari rolled his eyes and ignored her. Idiot. Su Wu nodded, and he looked at the slave space on the panel. Now the slave space has another chance to upgrade. He first chose to upgrade, and after gaining one point of advancement value, he can still only upgrade the resource space. He immediately upgraded the resource space to level 4. He began to think, can I add Gobmai's breeding space to the slave space like the storage ring? As this idea came to his mind, buzz, a prompt appeared. Do you want to sacrifice Goblin's breeding space to the slave space? After the sacrifice, the slave space will get a space of the same size, in which the environment in the space will be distributed around the same environment. If there is no same environment, it will be arranged in an unused area. Yes, Su Wu's eyes moved and he chose yes directly. Buzz, in the blink of an eye, the goblin's breeding space in his hand disappeared. I saw, the slave space changed from 1220 kilometers to 1221 kilometers. 
In the original foggy area, there was a forest with a diameter of one kilometer. The hut in the forest was still in the original position. Morgana was overjoyed when she saw this, and hurried to the jungle, hee <laughs> hee. The master is really getting more and more powerful. He can even get a jungle. This is really great. Soon, she found the hut. After pushing the door and entering, she frowned. Disgusting goblin asked. Ha, huh, this is. Said. She picked up the breeding manual on the table and read it carefully. You know what, it's quite interesting. Morgana couldn't help but said with a smile. Dot dot dot. At this time, Su Wu successively sacrificed all the other five breeding gardens of Gobmai to the slave space. When he looked again, slave space level 20, 195 200 tenths, space diameter 12 25 kilometers. Nine tailed asterisk 1, ghoul asterisk 11, shadow assassin asterisk 10, demon asterisk 1, goblin asterisk 172, environment, jungle 5 kilometers, features, level 4 resource space. The breeding special effect of Goblin disappeared. Su Wu whispered softly. He only understood at this time. The slave space has the function of washing away the special effects of storage equipment. Then, he looked at his panel. Level 20 himself. The average value of the four-dimensional attributes has reached 2,000 points. The slave skill has added a new slave target of rule building. Summoning has an additional exile item, you can exile the non-living beings of slavery in the slave space. Note that once exiled, they will exist permanently in the slave space and cannot be summoned out. This skill has five major functions. Summoning, collecting, key, exile, and permanent. Release increases the multiplier to five times. The mind chain adds one target to four linked targets, and the continuous damage increases by 10 points to 160 points. The range of teleportation increases by 10 meters to 200 meters. The seal of the king of slavery does not add attribute items, and the multiplier of slave dedication becomes six times. After the slave is successful, the slave's dedication increases to six times. The multiplier of the slave's gain increases by one. The number of slaves resurrecting in the slave space increases by one time, becoming three times. The range of freezing increases to 20 meters, and the duration is 40 seconds. The number of resurrection talents at level 3 is 4 times every 24 hours. Good. Su Wu muttered softly. He asked Ari, what are rule buildings? Dungeons, trial sites, and some functional buildings in the wild are all rule buildings. This type of building is not built by people, but obtained in the form of props, and then materialized into real buildings. Ari explained solemnly. Su Wu had an epiphany. Isn't the job transfer temple this kind of building? If I enslave the job transfer temple. This bold idea made him eager to try. He quickly stopped the surge in his heart. Turn around and ask. By the way. When I got the disc of life before, according to the talent requirements, it should be two, but I was only given one. It's said to be the only orange rule. But, why can the only orange equipment obtained from the dungeon be given according to the multiple of the talent? This was a huge doubt for him. Ari smiled and looked at Su Wu and explained, Master, didn't you notice? The life plate is the only orange item. The dungeon reward is the only orange equipment. The difference is here. If you look carefully, you will find that each piece of orange equipment you get actually has a different appearance. Although the name is the same, the appearance is somewhat different. What if I enslave 200 Gobmi? Su Wu's words. Nine-tailed Ari was stunned. Gobmi was petrified. What kind of lewd words are these? Nine-tailed Ari stared at Su Wu in disbelief and asked, Are you serious? Gobmi has the ability to devour evolution, and I think the increase after upgrading will not be bad. Su Wu gave his reasons seriously. At the same time, Gobmi's lightning chain skill can form a lightning network. If a group of Gobmi perform lightning chain at the same time, how spectacular will the scene be? And Gobmi looks good and is not beneficial to humans. Whether it is farming or managing the slave space, it is also possible. As soon as these words came out, Nine-Tailed Ari blinked, smiled mysteriously and said, I think the master's idea is really great. This is completely possible in theory. No, master, you can only have one Gobmi, not two hundred. Gobmi knelt on the ground and cried. Su Wu frowned. Bang. A ghoul jumped out from the side and slapped Gobmai hard. Gobmai was stunned. 
Even Ari was stunned again. My rule is to be obedient. If you don't obey, then there is no value in existence. Useless things naturally have no need to live. Su Wu stared at Gobmai and said sternly. Gobmai trembled all over. She was not afraid at all, but was extremely excited. Yes. Master, Gobmai must be the most obedient one. She made a crazy voice in her heart. Ha ha. This is a man. So domineering. Love. Love. Let's go. Su Wu waved his hand, and the slave army returned to the slave space. He left the copy. When he came outside, it was already dark. Bonfires were piled up in front of the copy. The shouting in the square was endless. Su Wu took advantage of the darkness and turned around and walked towards the city. He soon arrived at the gate of the provincial government compound without any obstacles. After identity recognition and authentication. Then he entered the door. And according to the guidance of security, he came to the location of the new home. Su Wu's home is located in the south of the courtyard, near the small square. This area is a special area for special talents like Su Wu and professionals who have won the hero medal in Kiantang province. At this time, in the living room on the first floor of the Su family, a table of banquets was set up. But no one at the table moved their chopsticks. The full cup of wine was not touched. The 22 people at the table were staring dryly. Second grandpa, let's eat. Don't wait for my brother. He must have gone to brush the dungeon. At this time, Su Tiantian's voice sounded. Su Changsheng, the only elder of the Su family, glared, No. Our family can be so glorious, all thanks to your brother. Your brother is the head of our family. If this is a commonplace, it's fine. Since it is a family gathering, we naturally have to wait for our hero. I said, no matter how late, we will wait. This is respect. The people at the table are Su Wu's parents and younger sister. Plus two cousins and their families of seven. And Su Wu's uncle from his grandmother's side and his family of six. And Su Changsheng's family of six. Su Wu's father Su Qin persuaded him again. Su Wu's cousins and uncles also spoke up. Insisted on waiting for Su Wu. Su Wu heard the conversation from outside. He immediately became happy. In the past, it was not like this. He couldn't help but sigh. This person, after he became powerful, family, relatives and friends all seemed to have changed. Everything was based on you. If he Su Wu was just an ordinary professional, then this dinner party would have ended long ago. Maybe he would even be scolded. How could he be treated like this? He entered the house. After greeting everyone one by one, he had a very rich and enthusiastic dinner. The relatives, praises never stopped since he entered the house. The dinner lasted until 11 o'clock. After seeing everyone off, Su Qin took Su Wu to the third floor in the elevator. There are a total of four bedrooms, two study rooms, one living room, two toilets and one bathroom on the third floor. After you get married and have children, you will live here. Your mother and I will live on the first floor, and your sister will live on the second floor temporarily. Su Chin smiled and arranged, at home. There is no need to hire a nanny or anything like that, your mother and I will clean it. Let's make a deal first, you have to leave the basement for me as a workshop. Then he took Su Wu to sit on the sofa in the living room on the third floor. Su Wu listened to his father's mumbling for a long time. He smiled and said, Dad. You and mom don't have to work in the future. That won't work. If we don't work, where will your sister's dowry and your wedding money come from? What will we do when we get old? We can't put all the pressure of the family on you. We are still young and capable, and it won't be a problem to work for another 30 years. Su Chin shook his head, patted Su Wu's hand and said, Son, I am happy for you. But in the future, you must remember. Only say three-tenths of what you say to others, and don't give your whole heart to them. Especially in dungeons and trials, be careful and don't trust anyone. I know you are determined to become a top professional, like Long Lai, who is proud of the world and competes with all the races. Dot dot dot, he said a lot of words. If it were normal times, he wouldn't have so many words. Su Wu listened silently. Long Lai is the first top professional in the Shengxia Empire to reach the maximum level and lead the army to compete with all the races outside the domain. It is not only Su Wu's goal, but also the goal of all the aspiring young people in the Xia Empire. When Su Qin had finished speaking, Su Wu whispered something in Su Qin's ear. 
Wow. Su Chin stood up suddenly, and his six points of drunkenness instantly sobered up. What did you say just now? How much did you make from selling equipment? 500 million. More than that, about 1.9 billion. I spent 1 billion to buy things. I gave 500 million to my family, and I kept the remaining 400 million for myself. Su Wu said to Su Chin, In addition, I prepared a gift for my little sister. I will give it to her when she changes her job to become a professional. This is only temporary, maybe I can have better things in the future. While speaking, he stuffed two storage rings into Su Chin, I will transfer the gold coins to you later. One of the rings was given to him by the provincial government, and he exchanged it for something else. There are 1,000 fast healing charms, one orange goblin's fang, one pepper necklace, and about 100,000 gold coins. The other one is the imperial reward given to him by Zhang Ning, which has been taken away by Su Wu. He has stored the provincial hero medal in the ring, with which he can receive 100,000 gold coins every month. And 296 fire copper crystals, 2,000 fast healing charms, one goblin battle axe, one chief crown, one goblin's fang, and one pepper necklace just obtained today. As for contribution points, he gave his father 500,000 in the form of a transfer. In this era, some powerful and wealthy families have convenient account management tools, which can be used to conduct real-time transactions and transfers, as well as to view relevant information of accounts, etc. This villa given by the provincial government also has such tools. Su Chin looked at the ring in his hand and the numbers on the magic screen. He frowned at Su Wu and asked, Xiao Wu, are you going to perform dangerous tasks? Or join a special organization? I tell you, even if you are a mythical professional, your father and mother don't want you to risk your life. We hope you are safe and sound. Seeing that old Su made the atmosphere seem like a parting of life and death. Su Wu hurriedly explained, after a detailed discussion. It was already two o'clock in the morning. Su Chin went downstairs like a dream. Su Wu went straight to the bathroom. He he, do you want to join us? After draining the water, Su Wu summoned Morgana, Ari and Gobmai. The three women looked at Su Wu's LSP look. Morgana couldn't help but turn her head and look elsewhere. Ari stomped her feet and lowered her head pretending to be reserved. Gobmai walked behind Su Wu and rubbed his back. Not long after, the room became a battlefield. A sweaty battle swept away the clouds, the sea surged, the pole made progress day by day, and the advances and retreats were like a mile, and the battle went on till the next day. At noon the next day, Su Wu fell asleep with his arms around him. Gobmai was lying under the bed. After a night of ups and downs, he slept very comfortably. Ding ling ling, ding ling ling. Soon, he was awakened by the harsh sound of the alarm. Su Wu opened his eyes. There was a touch of crimson clouds between their eyes. Su Wu smiled slightly. Bang, Gobmai fell to the ground. Ari hurriedly got up and put on a long dress in almost a second. Morgana kissed Su Wu's cheek affectionately, and then stood up gracefully. Ari, how is the attribute pool? Su Wu asked. Ari threw away the idea of how to face Su Wu that he was still thinking about just now. He immediately looked at his own panel. He said solemnly, Master, it has accumulated 17,000 points. This made Morgana's eyes jump. Gobmai was stunned and didn't know what Su Wu was talking about. She obediently picked up the broom in the room and started cleaning. Su Wu suddenly sat up halfway. He took out the 2,269 blood crystals he had harvested yesterday and handed them to Ari, let's upgrade to level 10 first. Yes, Ari nodded, buzz, buzz, buzz. Soon, one blood crystal was upgraded to level 10. When Su Wu took the blood crystal, he found that the color of the blood crystal became brighter. It seemed that a ball of blood was flowing inside. Level 10 blood crystal. 2048 ordinary blood crystals condense into one level 10 blood crystal, which can be used for refining medicine, refining equipment, puppets, forging, magic weapons, and enchantment. Exclusively dropped by the enslaver, can be synthesized using the synthesis skill. More functions. Su Wu muttered softly. I don't know how many levels one can upgrade. This blood crystal consumed a total of 100 attribute points of Ari. It is more cost effective than the level 1 blood crystal. He pointed the level 10 blood crystal at Ari. Do you want to use the level 10 blood crystal on Ari? 
Yes, Su Wu chose yes directly. Buzz, in the blink of an eye. Aries' body was shining with golden light. Su Wu hurriedly looked at Aries' level, and was overjoyed. Good. One level 10 blood crystal actually promoted Ari to level 25. Cool, it was so cool. This was almost the same as using 100 blood crystals to promote Ari. But this method saves more resources. Ari knelt down hurriedly after seeing this. Thank you for the gift, master. Click. This made Gobmai stunned. Morgana was so envious that she wanted to pop her eyes out. Su Wu looked at Ari's panel. Name. Ari. Race. Qingqiu Fox. Occupation. God servant. Identity. Su Wu slave. Level. 25. Strength. 14.3 million. Agility. 14.3 million. Spirit. 14.3 million plus 500. Constitution. 14.3 million. Attribute pool. 16,900 unlimited. Equipment. Life plate. Skills. Charm magic. Attribute pool. Upgrade. Guidance. Talent. Invincible. Harmless. Attribute pool. Condensing 143,000 attribute points every day. Continue. First upgrade 100 blood crystals to level 10 blood crystals. Su Wu ordered Ari. Yes, Ari bowed seriously and began to upgrade. After completion, she still had 6,900 attribute points left. Su Wu then used level 10 blood crystals on Ari again. Buzz, do you want to use level 10 blood crystal on Ari? Ari can only be 20 levels higher than you at most, and the remaining energy will be wasted. Yes, Su Wu now has the confidence and does not hesitate at all. Buzz, in an instant, Ari was promoted to level 40. Her four-dimensional attributes increased to 26.3 million. The attribute pool can condense up to 263,000 attribute points per day. This made Ari ecstatic again. Su Wu then used two level 10 blood crystals on Morgana in succession. Boom, in a brilliant blood red light, Morgana was promoted to level 40. She knelt on the ground excitedly. Thank you for the gift, master. I will definitely. She said a lot of nice words. Name, Morgana. Race, Fallen Angel. Profession, Soul Mage. Identity, Su Slave. Level, 40. Strength, 84,300. Agility, 84,300. Spirit, 84,500 plus 500. Constitution, 84,300. Equipment, Harvest Scepter, Storage Ring 32. Skills, Soul Drain, Level 4, Dark Shield, Level 4, Demon Transformation, Level 4. Soul Drain, Level 4, Pin the Target with Soul Chains, causing 2,420 points of continuous soul damage to the target per second, lasting for 245 seconds. At the same time, the damage caused to the target is converted into soul energy to replenish its own losses. Consumes 5 points of spirit. Dark Shield Level 4 summons a dark magic shield that can resist 2,500 points of attack for all friendly units within a range of 250 meters. Duration 25 minutes. Cooldown time 5 minutes. Consumes 10 points of spirit. Demon conversion level 4 consume 10 spirit points to convert corpses and monsters into demons. Morgana's attributes increase by 200 points per level, 6 times the increase is 2,400 points, and level 35 is 84,000 attribute points. Her skills increase by 1 level every 10 levels. Soul Drain increases continuous damage by 100 points per level, and the duration increases by 10 seconds. 6 times is 600 points of damage, and the duration increases by 60 seconds. Level 6 is 2,400 points of damage, and the duration lasts for 240 seconds. Statistics show that enemies hit by this attack will suffer 576,000 points of damage in 240 seconds. This is simply amazing. Morgana's Dark Shield increases the range by 10 meters per level and the resistance by 100 points. 6 times is 60 meters, and the resistance is 600 points. Level 4 is 240 meters, and the resistance is 2,400 points of damage. Overall, Morgana does not have any offensive equipment. It is more than enough to deal with the monsters and enemies that Su Wen is facing now. I need to prepare a set of magic equipment for Morgana. Su Wu muttered softly. He turned his head and looked at Gobmai. He also used a level 10 blood crystal on Gobmai. Buzz. 
In a green light, Gobmai was promoted to level 20. Name, Gobmai. Race, Goblin. Profession, Electric Mage. Identity, Su Wen Slave. Level, 40. Strength, 38,500. Agility, 39,000. Spirit, 39,600. Constitution, 39,000. Skills, Multiplication, Level 2, Lightning Chain, Level 2, Thunder, Level 2. Talent, Devouring Evolution, Level 1. Multiplication, Level 2, The Body Gains 50 times Multiplication, and the 4-Dimensional Attribute Points Temporarily Gain 50 times Multiplication. Duration, 120 seconds. Consumes 10 Spirit Points, Cooldown Time 3 Minutes. Lightning Chain, Level 2, Releases a Lightning Chain, and the linked enemy will suffer 1700 points plus 170% spirit value magic damage, and can connect up to 17 enemies. Consumes 200 spirit points, cooldown time 1 minute. When this skill is used in the multiplied state, it can establish a temporary lightning chain network with friendly units in the same state and also have this skill, causing an additional 1500 points of damage to the target, and can connect an additional 14 enemies. Wrath of Thunder Level 2 summons a lightning column, causing 2,200 points plus 220% spirit value magic damage to the target, and stuns the target for 17 seconds. Cooldown time 5 minutes, consumes 500 spirit points. Evolve Devour Level 2 can devour various lives, gain life skills and evolve. The growth of the evolved Gobmai will be improved. The current growth value is 300. Hum. Gobmai also gets level and talent upgrades. Su Wu muttered softly. Gobmai's upgrade increases the average 4D attribute by 300 points per level. With the help of the slave gain, it has been increased by 6 times, that is, the average 4D attribute can be increased by 1800 points per level. Gobmai's multiplication skill increases by 4 times per level, and after the increase, it is 24 times. The number of temporary 4D attribute points is the same. The duration increases by 10 seconds per level, and after the increase, it is 60 seconds. The attack of the lightning chain increases by 100 points per level, and after the increase, it is 600 points, and the second level is 1700 points. The percentage spirit value increases by 10% per level, and after the increase, it increases by 60% per level, so the value is 170%. The additional damage of the lightning chain network also increases by 100 points per level, and only with the six-fold increase of Su Wu's talent can such a value be achieved. The number of linked people increases by one per level, and after the increase, six more enemies can be linked per level. What surprised Su Wen was. After Gobmai's talent was upgraded, a growth value appeared. The so-called growth value refers to the value of each level of the four-dimensional attribute. This gave him a clear understanding of Gobmai's ability. However, he still had doubts. Su Wu looked at Nine-Tailed Ari. Ari, why can't your skills and talents be upgraded? This is because I am invincible. My charm can make any life fall into a beautiful illusion forever. Ari explained seriously. The guidance is to answer the questions of professionals. Upgrading uses the power of the attribute pool, so every time I upgrade, I only increase the attribute points and the data of the attribute pool. I don't need to upgrade skills and talents. Su Wu nodded in agreement with Ari's fancy show off, I understand. As his thoughts turned, he couldn't help asking, is there any way to wash off your harmless attribute? As long as the harmless attribute is washed off, Ari can attack other lives. At that time, Ari can decide the outcome with a slave. Ari shook her head. This is a must-have talent for the servant of the gods. Unless I die and change my body and reborn. What a pity. Such a good fighter has to be a flower. Su Wu shook his head. After that, Su Wu summoned the ghoul. At present, the ghoul has been upgraded to level 10 and has also met the breakthrough requirements. At this moment, he used the level 10 blood crystal on the ghoul. Buzz. Do you want to use level 10 blood crystal on the ghoul? The ghoul can only be upgraded to level 40 at most. Using level 10 blood crystal will consume a lot of energy. After seeing this, Su Wu put away the level 10 blood crystal. Even if he had the resources, he didn't want to waste them like this. At this moment, he took out a blood crystal and asked Ari to upgrade it to level 5. This time he used it on the ghoul. There was no reminder of wasting energy before. 
Buzz. The ghoul was promoted to level 40. Su Wu looked at its attribute panel. Ghoul. Identity. Su Wu Slave. Level. 40. Strength. 4,805,120. Agility. 4,803,584. Spirit. 4,802,560. Constitution. 4,804,096. Skill. Bite. 4. Talent. Evolution of 9. 4. Bite 4 launches a fierce bite on the target, causing 250 damage to the target, with a 250% chance of causing a critical hit. Evolution of 9. 4. 9 corpses can increase the growth value and skill damage of the ghoul. Growth value. 12 W. Skill damage bonus. 600 points. Hum. With my talent enhancement, the four-dimensional attributes of the ghoul can increase by an average of 120,000 attribute points per level. It's really a big surprise. Su Wu's eyes moved, and he was very excited. Now he has one more trump card to save his life. It's just, the bite skill of the ghoul is too useless. Fortunately, the gnawing evolution can increase the damage bonus of the skill. Otherwise, the ghoul can only be used as a hammer. Then, Su Wu also used the blood crystal to promote the other 10 ghouls. After completion, he summoned the shadow assassin. The Shadow Assassin has now all been promoted to level 10. It has also completed the breakthrough requirements. Unlike the Ghoul, the 10 Shadow Assassins did not have awakening talents. He tried to promote the Ghouls and made a level 5 blood crystal specifically for the Shadow Assassins. Buzz. The Shadow Assassin successfully promoted to level 40. Shadow Assassin. Identity. Su Wu Slave. Level. Level 40. Strength. 9373. Agility, 9,400. Spirit, 9,400. Constitution, 9,375. Skills, Shadow Stealth, Level 4. Shadow Stealth, Level 4, hide in the shadows and appear outside when attacking. Ha, huh, it seems that Shadow Assassin can only be used as a scout. Su Wu exhaled after seeing it. After promotion. Shadow Assassin still increases the average four-dimensional attribute by 50 points per level. With the six-fold blessing of Su Wenu's gain talent, the average four-dimensional attribute is increased by 300 points per level. After seeing the super-growing monster like the ghoul, Su Wu was a little sad about the Shadow Assassin. If it was not still useful, he would have sold it long ago. Su Wu upgraded the other nine Shadow Assassins to level 40. He used the release skill on one of the Shadow Assassins. Buzz, you successfully released the Shadow Assassin. Thank you for 400 experience points. Ha, huh, monsters upgraded by blood crystals can only get basic experience points after release. Su Wu's eyes jumped. It seems that I have to make good use of blood crystals and Ari's upgrade skills in the future. For temporarily useful slaves, let Ari upgrade first, so that when waiting to be released, you can maximize the benefits. Otherwise, it will only waste resources. From then on, he judged the gap between slaves promoted by special resources and monsters upgraded by Ari using upgrade skills. Even if Ari was promoted in the early stage and blood crystals were promoted in the later stage, Su Wu still couldn't get a lot of experience. After mastering this information, he sent all the monsters into the slave space and arranged for Ari to use skills to upgrade the experience packs of the 171 goblins he enslaved. These 171 goblin experience packs are calculated according to the highest level that Ari can upgrade. It can be promoted to level 50. If calculated in this way, if goblins consume 10 experience points for each level up, then Su Wu will get at least 500 plus 4500 experience points after releasing a level 50 goblin. This is just the basic experience, plus the 5 times multiplier of Su Wu's release skill. Su Wu will get 25,000 experience points. In other words, one goblin can make Su Wu level up by 2. He only needs a dozen. He can reach level 30. Of course, this is calculated based on level 5 Great Axe Goblins. If the goblins are enslaved in the Master Hell difficulty dungeon, the experience may be less. Even so, even if 30 goblins can make him reach level 30, he still has 140 goblin experience packs available. Just thinking about it makes me feel good. Others work hard to enter the dungeon to level up. He only needs to lie down.
he can get it done once and for all and level up happily. It's really cool. Comma. Just when Su Wu was thinking about whether to use up all the experience packs. Thump, thump, thump. A burst of hurried footsteps sounded. Su Chin hurriedly went upstairs and stood in the living room and shouted to Su Wu, Xiao Wu. Today at noon, our Dujong City Education Bureau organized a hero appreciation banquet. The invitation was sent out yesterday. You must go today. At the same time, tonight and tomorrow at noon, our city government and provincial government will separately hold celebration banquets for you. At that time, celebrities and dignitaries from all walks of life will be present. He said this in a panic and a little guilty. Su Wu was stunned and asked dissatisfiedly, why didn't you say it earlier? Your mother forgot about this. Su Chin said with a red face. Su Wu sighed and thought about it. I think these three banquets should still be attended. His home is here. Get to know people from all walks of life. Benefit the future of his parents and sister. If he has anything in the future. There are also connections to help. Anyway, the experience pack is already there. He has reached level 20. Whether to go to the dungeon or when to go to the dungeon is not so urgent. Go. Su Wu quickly made a decision. Su Chin was relieved after hearing this, okay. Just like that, Su Wu had three consecutive banquets. He got to know the celebrities and dignitaries from all walks of life in Kiantang Provincial Government and Dujong City. He also received many thanks and gifts from the families of new professionals he saved. This kind of thing was filmed by the media, published in newspapers, and on Magic News. After all, it is impossible to hide the fact that more than 10,000 students were saved. It's just that some of the information about Su Wu is not true. Add to that some bait-like information to confuse the audience. Even Su Wu, who was lying on the sofa watching magic news. He felt that these false news were well-reasoned and true. In the evening, 7.50, Su Wu took out Zhang Ning's invitation. There were still 10 minutes left before the time he and Zhang Ning agreed to meet. He became a little excited. Buzz. At 8 o'clock, a light flashed on the invitation. Do you want to enter the temporary team building space? Hum, there is such a function. Su Wu's eyelids moved, and he quickly responded, Yes. Buzz. A light flashed in the living room, and Su Wu disappeared on the sofa. On the table where he placed the invitation, a strange symbol was left. Shengxia Empire, the capital in a basement at the headquarters of the Empire Special Talent Service Center. Zhang Ning looked at the information sent from Dujong City, and couldn't help but grin, this kid's charm is really enviable. He has so many connections just starting out. He has a bright future. Humph, trash, he thought he became a great man after getting the hero medal. He doesn't even think about it. What is the foundation of a professional? It's the level, it's the strength. Kelly snorted coldly and said dissatisfiedly, You know. After Su Wu joined the Empire Special Talent Service Center. But he had to be assigned to Kelly's team. After all, Su Wu was going to Shengxia Academy. Getting an academy team would also make it easier for them to perform tasks. She had high expectations for Su Wu. Who knew? This guy only went to the dungeon for half a day. He ate and drank a lot for two consecutive days, and there were constant banquets. This is really maddening, if she didn't have a task here. She would have run to Dujong City to supervise. Zhang Ning laughed. Whether they have worked hard or not, our intelligence alone is not accurate. The time is coming, and we should act. On the other side, during a transmission that lasted more than 10 seconds, Su Wu felt dizzy. The feeling of overweight made him uncomfortable. He wanted to vomit. The pressure was uncomfortable. Buzz. Soon, Su Wu's eyes flashed with light. He finally felt down to earth. What came into view was a gray space. The floor of the space was a jade floor. It was covered by a hemispherical light curtain. Accompanying him were at least hundreds of professionals. Judging from the clothes of these professionals, they should all be professionals below level 30. Just as Su Wu was observing the surroundings, a light flashed in the space again. Zhang Ning, Kelly and four professionals appeared here. The scene became quiet. I'm very happy that everyone can attend this feast. Zhang Ning was suspended in the air, first scanning everyone around him, and then said, Everyone must be curious, what is this place? Where are we going? First of all, this is a temporary team space created by the special prop Liang Yi Tianxia of the Empire. 
Every member who enters here has been marked by Liang Yitianxia. Secondly, the place we are going to is the foot basin. Speaking of this, everyone's eyes couldn't help but bloom with blazing light and fire. Zhang Ning's words, it was like a ball of sparks. It ignited hundreds of blazing flames in an instant. Su Wu was still calm. When he got the invitation and learned that he was going to participate in the Empire's Wrath trial, he realized that this is related to the Foot Basin's dungeon invasion plan. 40% of you participated in the blood-killing trial brought about by this dungeon invasion. The despicable behavior of the Foot Basin has caused us to lose many excellent pillars, so we have this action. Zhang Ning said solemnly. He said to everyone again, your mission is simple. Go to the Foot Basin professional training base and kill all enemies you encounter. The time is now 8.05. You have 25 minutes to familiarize yourself with the map and get the intelligence. Check the mission. At 8.30, the Empire's Fury trial officially starts. Remember, you are the hope of the Empire's future. I hope you won't act on impulse. If you lose, immediately call out the four words, Liang Yi Tian Sha, and you can return instantly. After the trial, your merits will be calculated based on the statistics of the marks, and rewards and contribution points will be issued. Dot dot dot. After Zhang Ning finished speaking. Buzz. On the huge barrier of the entire space. Maps appeared one after another. And various tasks about each map. Click. Click. Kei Li and others brought by Zhang Ning separated one after another. Kei Li walked straight to the direction where Su Wu was. Qian Tang Province, Nan Province. Professionals from these four provinces come to my side. Soon, 200 professionals gathered around her. Su Wu was surprised to find that he was the only one coming from Dujong City, Kiantang Province. Kei Li then said, Level 20 to 29, line up here. You are Group 1. Crash. Then, all the professionals walked towards the position pointed by Kei Li. Su Wu thought about it and felt that there was no need to hide the level. She walked over directly. Clay frowned. Su Wu, are you level 20? Her tone was full of contempt. Click. Su Wu paused, looked at Clay strangely and said, yes. It's genuine. Clay still didn't believe it, took out a magic prop in her hand and looked at it, she was silent. Ten seconds later, Clay said to Su Wu solemnly, I'm sorry. I wronged you. Okay, level 10 to 19, stand here. You are group 2. She then took charge of the work again. Su Wu was a little puzzled. What's going on? Are there relatives coming to my house? After the team was divided, Clay raised her hand and grabbed. Grabbed a series of light and shadows from the barrier. Then, a map, divided into two parts, appeared in front of the team. Although these two ground pushes are the same, the marking points and task points are different. Look at the structure. It is not a ground structure. It is an underground building. We have two tasks. Group 2 is responsible for collecting supplies at the coordinate points on the map. Group 1 is responsible for killing people. We will enter in stages. Other teams will enter 5 minutes earlier than you. Their task is to kill targets above level 30. Group 1 is the second batch to enter, and Group 2 will only be 5 minutes later than you. So, I require Group 2 to kill all professionals above level 20 before entering. Or entangle them and prevent them from being freed. Clay said solemnly. At this time, a team member asked, Captain, aren't we the only ones in this operation? No, we are only part of the Empire's Rage Trial, and there are other teams fighting in higher level battlefields. Kelly shook her head. After your mission is completed, I will also go to the advanced battlefield. The reason I brought you this time is mainly for assessment and trial. Let you see the battlefield of this era. In addition, after completing the mission, the members of Group 1 can come back and support the activities of other teams through the portal here. I only have one request for you, do what you can. After that, she began to introduce the information of the target location this time, the place we are going to is called Shuigu Base. This is a training ground on Mars specially prepared for low-level dungeon invasions. It has the function of training and changing jobs for prospective professionals. At the same time, there is also a core of Transformers called Phantoms stationed here. The core has a total of 300 people. They are monsters created by alchemists through life transformation technology, with the attack power of level 25 monsters. 
At the same time, there is also a 20-person professional team responsible for the garrison. The captain of the team, Furui Junto, is a mythical level on Myoji professional, who is good at summoning heroic spirits to fight. The highest level of heroic spirits is five levels higher than him, divided into guardian heroic spirits and combat heroic spirits, and up to 12 heroic spirits can be summoned to fight. The deputy captain of the team, Sakai Mizuko, is a mythical level witch professional, who is good at charm, assassination and refining corpse puppets. In a base 5,000 meters underground on Mars, Ji-Yu Jingronren was lazily lying in the bathroom. Two strong hero spirits were scrubbing him from left to right. In the corner, there was also a handsome hero spirit blowing a short black flute. The melodious sound was like a saw sawing wood. Ji-Yu Jingronren was enjoying it. Boom, suddenly, there was a violent roar outside. Then, buzz, your area was attacked by an unknown force, and the other party used a temporary copy generation prop. You and all the professionals and lives of Shuigu base temporarily become copy NPCs. Mission. Guard the copy and kill all invaders. Dot dot dot. On the other side, Su Wu has entered the upper passage of Shuigu base with a team of 100 people through the portal. This is the transportation passage leading to the ground. The difference is, the passage has been blocked by a space membrane wall. Warning. Temporary dungeon membrane wall. Su Wu tried to touch the membrane wall, but received a prompt. Quick, act according to the plan. We only have five minutes. Zhou Quan, a temporary team leader of a group, solemnly instructed. He is the team leader selected by Clay. Myth Professional, Level 30. Everyone assigned tasks in the temporary team space created by Liang Yi Tianxia. Su Wu's external identity is still a slave catcher, and he has high-level slaves. So he was assigned to a separate team. In this regard, Su Wu was happy with this. After parting with everyone, he went straight to the sixth channel. The area leading to this channel is the training ground of the Phantom Legion. According to Klee's prompt, there are more than a dozen phantoms there. Clatter, Su Wu summoned the shadow assassins, leaving only two to guard around him. The others were sent out to explore the map. He sent the ghouls to the target location ahead. Boom, boom, boom. Before he got close to the training ground, he heard a series of roars. The howling of the ghouls continued. Soon, Su Wu's front became quiet. After he arrived at the training ground, he found that it was already a mess. In addition to the dense bullet holes on the wall, there was also a large hole in one wall. The training equipment on the ground was scattered all over the ground. More than a dozen ghosts were pinned to the ground and could not move. There were also some broken bodies around. Obviously, the battle just now was very fierce. Su Wu looked at the ghosts and saw that except for their heads, their bodies had become like monsters. Especially the back was equipped with an automatic mechanical module. This module can be equipped with mechanical arms, as well as hot weapons such as Vulcan cannons. Su Wu looked at their panels. Phantom Transformed Warrior. Type. Puppet. Level. Level 20. Strength. 3000. Agility. 3500. Spirit. 1000. Constitution. 5000. Skills. Fast healing. Regeneration of broken limbs. Hum. They are no longer alive. Su Wu frowned. He tried to enslave the phantom. Buzz. You successfully enslaved the phantom transformed warrior. You received the dedication of the Phantom Transformed Warrior. You received 200 experience points 6. You received one copy of the Puppet Transformation Blueprint 6. You received one copy of the Brain Control Structure Synthesis Formula 6. You received four Blood Crystals 6. Hum, can there be any benefits? Su Wu didn't expect that this could be rewarded. He first looked at the spoils. Puppet Transformation Blueprint. Blue, the perfect fusion of life, machinery, and monster genes. Phantom Transformation Warrior Blueprint. Brain Control Structure Synthesis Formula. Blue, requires one life soul, one crystal that carries the soul and has a certain spirituality, and one Tianhe core. Can be synthesized through synthesis skills, with a yield rate of 70%. Su Wu then released the Phantom. Buzz, you successfully released the Phantom. You get 200 experience 5 thanks. In the blink of an eye, he has gained 3,200 experience points. Cool, the phantom did not disappear like other monsters. Instead, it stayed in place, 
staring with a pair of eyes, not daring to move. Su Wu signaled the ghoul to eat this phantom. Wow! A terrifying voice sounded. The phantom disappeared directly on the spot. The ghoul swallowed the ghost without chewing. Su Wu looked at the ghoul's panel. He found that. After swallowing the ghost, the ghoul activated the talent of gnawing evolution. The damage of the ghoul's skill increased by 600 points. That is, from 250 points of damage to 850 points of damage. Every ghost swallowed can increase their damage by 600 points. It really works. Su Wu's eyes moved. He immediately enslaved all the ghosts around. Then he released them all. Buzz. In the blink of an eye. Su Wu's body was shining with golden light. He actually upgraded. Congratulations on reaching level 21. The released ghosts were devoured by the ghoul in the blink of an eye. Only one remained in place. Su Wu summoned Gobmai. Devour it. Let me see your talent. Yes, master. Gobmai walked towards the ghost excitedly. She very gracefully took a piece of the specter's flesh and began to eat it. Ari frowned. Pa. Disgusting. Buzz. A faint light flashed on Gobmai's body. She excitedly said to Su Wu, Master. I got one of its skills. Su Wu looked and found that Gobmai really got the specter's skill of regeneration of broken limbs. Regeneration of broken limbs. Consume 1000 points of spirit value, and grow new limbs within 30 minutes. At the same time, Gobmai's devouring evolution growth value became 350 points. Continue. Su Wu asked. Gobmai shook her head. Master. I only need to eat a small piece of meat. Eating too much is useless, and eating the meat of the same life can only maintain food and clothing, and will not get other strength and growth enhancement. Is that so? Su Wu thought. Wow. The ghoul swallowed the specter in one gulp. Let's go. Su Wu led the slave army to the next area. He. 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 Oni Chan. You are so mouth-watering. Ha ha. Let's be happy together. Dot dot dot. A perverted sound came from the corridor. Su Wu had an idea. The shadow assassin hiding in the shadows followed the sound silently into a room. I saw. In this room. There was a short-haired woman wearing a kimono holding a short knife and picking up the clothes of a trialist bit by bit. The trialist's eyes were hazy, and a long saliva flowed from the corners of his mouth. People seemed to be trapped in some strange illusions, causing strange swelling changes in some parts of the body. Who, just when the woman was about to stab the short knife into the chest of the Shenxia country trialist. She suddenly looked at the door. Wow, the shadow assassin suddenly appeared from the shadows. The confused Shanxia country trialist was snatched away in an instant. The woman frowned, and not only did she not chase him, but she took a step back. At this time, Su Wu appeared at the door. He looked at the woman's equipment and the very recognizable red bangs, and smiled slightly. Hey! Mythical witch professional Sakai Mizuko. What a coincidence, little brother from Shanxia country. Since you know I'm a witch, I think you also want to taste me. After all, Sakai Mizuko spoke in a delicate voice in the not-so-fluent Shanxia language, and she did not hesitate to loosen her kimono bit by bit. Buzz. In the blink of an eye, before Sakai Ruzi could successfully use charm on Su Wu, she had already lost in the invisible confrontation and became Su Wu's prisoner. You successfully enslaved Sakai Ruzi. You obtained Sakai Ruzi's dedication. Obtained magic props. One fang dagger asterisk six. Obtained props. 1 Elementary Skill Extraction Scroll Asterisk 6 Obtained A-Level Props 1 A-Level Talent Treasure Chest Asterisk 6 Obtained SSS Level Rare Props 1 Skill Synthesis Scroll Asterisk 6 Obtained Ordinary Props 1 16 Grid Storage Ring Asterisk 6 Accompanied by Prompts Sakai Ruzi, who was kneeling on the ground, had already presented treasures one by one from the storage ring. Su Wu looked at the spoils at the first time. Venomous Fang Dagger. Blue, Agility plus 500. Enchantment. Rattlesnake Fang. The dagger's normal attack carries 50,000 times the hemolytic snake venom, causing the target to continuously bear 1,000 points of poison damage per second. This continuous damage can be stacked 5 times. A-level Talent Box. A-level Professional Prop. There is a 40% chance of obtaining one A-level talent after opening the box. Skill Synthesis Scroll. SSS level rare professional prop, after using it, you can synthesize the specified skill or talent. Note, 
This synthesis scroll is only applicable to professionals below level 30. Skill synthesis scroll. Su Wu turned his head and looked at Ari. Ari explained. This is a random synthesis item, with at least two or at most five skills or talents as materials. After synthesis, you will get a skill or talent of equal or higher level according to the level of the skill or talent. Su Wu sacrificed six storage rings to the slave space during the conversation. The diameter of the slave space increased by six kilometers. Su Wu then looked at Sakai Ruzi. Name, Sakai Ruzi. Profession, which mythology? Level, 25, 12,131 thousandths. Strength, 2,508. Agility, 2,510. Spirit, 2,515. Constitution, 2,507. Skills, Charm, level 20, Butterfly Wings, level 20, Thousand Princess Kill, level 20, Puppetry, level 20, Guardian Shield, level 20. Talent, Flower Rain, level 5, Light Armor, 5 Space. Professional Characteristics, 100 Fold Growth. No wonder you want to be honest. It turns out that you want to get the Light Armor Talent. Su Wu couldn't help muttering after seeing it. Light armor, level 5, the less clothes or equipment you have on your body, the higher the temporary attribute bonus you get. Basic temporary attribute bonus is 20 times. Maximum temporary attribute bonus is 100 times. Duration is 10 seconds. It was also fortunate that Su Wu activated the enslavement. If he had tried to test Sakai Mizuko's thoughts, he would have suffered a small loss. Will the skill level not be upgraded after it reaches level 20? Su Wu then asked Ari. Ari nodded. Before level 30, the highest skill level is 20. After that, you will need to change your job twice. At that time, the skills will be enhanced and the level limit will be gone. During the conversation, Su Wu looked at his panel. It was indeed as Ari said. His enslavement, summoning, and release skills automatically stopped upgrading after they reached level 20. Only the mind chain and teleportation were upgraded. He glanced at his experience level. Level, 21, 350 17 thousandths. He turned to Gobmai and said, cut the meat. Yes. Gobmai was excited. Sakai Mizuko is a high quality life. She is looking forward to getting the other party's power. Wow. Gobmai grabbed a piece of meat from Sakai Ruzi's arm with her claws and ate it in big mouthfuls. Buzz. Golden light burst out from her body, and her skin became delicate and white. The green belonging to the goblin seemed to fade a layer. In the blink of an eye, Gobmai jumped up excitedly. Master, I got the butterfly wings and guardian shield skills. Su Wu looked at Gobmai's skill list. Two new skills were indeed added. Butterfly wings. Consume 100 points of spirit value and condense a pair of butterfly wings that can fly. Speed. 50 meters per second. Consume 10 points of spirit value per second. Guardian shield. Release a magic shield that can resist 3,000 points of damage to up to 10 targets. Each shield consumes 50 points of spirit value and lasts for 15 minutes. Ha, huh, no level. Su Wu was a little surprised after seeing it. However, Gobmai's growth value increased from 350 points to 500 points. It can be seen that the evolution that Sakai Ruzi brought to Gobmai was huge. In that case, Su Wu turned his head and looked at Morgana. Morgana, who had been a background board, walked to the front and held the harvest scepter against Sakai Ruzi's forehead. Master, Sakai Ruzi knew she was going to die, and cried happily. Buzz, in the blink of an eye, the jade-like beauty just now turned into a dry corpse. Morgana looked at the harvest scepter and said happily, Master, she provided 3,000 vitality to the scepter. Is it because she is a mythical professional? Su Wu whispered softly. He turned around and took the team to another place. He solved several more professionals of the foot basin along the way. He got a bunch of magic equipment and 42 storage rings. Su Wu sacrificed all the storage rings to the slave space. After a while, when Su Wu was about to leave the area he was responsible for, the shadow assassins came back. After they reported through the spirit, Su Wu learned that all the professionals of the foot basin country in other areas had been solved. The members of Group 2 also successfully entered here. In addition, what Su Wu wanted to find was also found by the Shadow Assassin. He was overjoyed when he saw this. He raised his hand and collected the slaves including Ari. 
Only 11 ghouls followed him to the target area. The professional from Shanxia country who was saved by him woke up from the corridor at this time. Soon, Su Wu came to an ancient bronze temple. This ancient temple was almost exactly the same as the job transfer temple he saw in school. The only difference was, this job transfer temple was small and exquisite, only 3 meters high, about 5 meters long and wide. There was nothing else except the job transfer altar. He looked at its panel at the first time. Regular building. Small job transfer temple. Function. Job transfer. Requirement. Blue star life at the age of 18. Job transfer opening date. February 15th. Affiliation. Foot basin. Ha. Huh. The job transfer in the school is all on July 15th. Here, you can actually transfer on February 15th. Su Wu communicated with Ari in the slave space through the summoning skill. Ari explained, the job transfer dates of the job transfer temple are basically customized by each country. The big job transfer temple is directly materialized, and the small job transfer temple is a prop of a special copy. After obtaining it, it can be used on this planet, or in outer space and other worlds. Once it is completed and materialized in reality, it cannot be moved. In that case, then I won't be polite. Su Wu looked at the job transfer temple and muttered softly. Click, click. At this time, a crisp sound of footsteps came from behind him. Su Wu, who was about to move, stopped and turned his head to look. The ghouls guarding him all showed fierce eyes. Click. Zhou Quan, who was walking over, stopped and said to Su Wu, Su Wu. You are really good at shopping. The people in group 2 have completed the task. We are going back. After that, he directly recited, Liang Yi Tian Sha. In the blink of an eye, a golden light emerged from his body. The next second, Zhou Quan disappeared on the spot. Su Wu's eyes moved, and he turned around and used the enslavement skill on the small job transfer temple. Buzz. In the blink of an eye, a light flashed on the small job transfer temple. Su Wu realized that he seemed to have established a connection with the small job transfer temple. When he looked at the panel of the temple again, he found that the small job transfer temple had become his thing. Unlike enslaving life, for the enslavement rule building, Su Wu did not get any dedication and experience points. Even so, it was still a pleasant thing. Ha ha, good. Su Wu's hearty laughter resounded in the Shuigu base. After he moved the job transfer temple to the slave space, he recited the four words, Liang Yi Tian Sha. Chapter 31 Buzz, Su Wu returned to the temporary team forming space. There were only a dozen professionals sitting cross-legged in the space to rest. In addition, in various areas around, there were more than a dozen portals flashing with glittering light. The portal that Su Wu came out of was quietly closed. When he looked up, he saw a countdown on the membrane wall of the space. Brother, what does this mean? Su Wu found a person and asked. The man smiled slightly. Hello. That's the countdown for this operation. Your mission over there has ended. You have two choices. One is to go in through the portal to help in other dungeons. Two is to wait for five minutes, and you will be automatically teleported out of the temporary team forming space. Oh, Su Wu nodded. There are still 30 minutes left in the whole trial. What does the flashing red light of the dungeon portal over there mean? Su Wu observed and found a problem. The man said solemnly. When the casualties of the team members exceed one-third, the dungeon portal will flash red to alarm, indicating that the professionals who are attacking the dungeon are facing danger. After saying that, several professionals beside this man stood up quickly and ran towards the portal flashing red light. Su Wu's eyes moved, and he was about to follow. He suddenly found. Two more portals emitted red light. Immediately, Su Wu ran towards one of the copies without hesitation. The person Su Wu asked smiled slightly, took out a magic table, and directly recorded, in times of crisis, show your true nature. Excellent. Buzz. On the other side, Su Wu entered another copy. The terrain of this copy is different from the copy he is in. This is a wet and winding passage. There are traces of fighting in the passage. You can also hear bursts of roars. A red panel appeared in front of Su Wu. Allowed intervention time. 1 minute and 59 seconds. Time is zero, will be forced to return. Ha, huh, there is still a time limit. Su Wu's eyes moved when he saw this. At the moment, he no longer decided on the slow slave release route. 
he summoned the ghouls and Gobmai, and led the team straight forward. At the same time, he also summoned the Shadow Assassin, ordered them to find the regular building within 40 seconds. Crash, after the troops were divided into two groups, Su Wu quickly came to a battle site. Here, a group of professionals from the Shenxia Empire were besieged by 200 ghost-transformed warriors, plus four or five more embarrassed professionals from the Foot Basin Kingdom. The innermost layer was the lowest level professionals. The outer layer was professionals above level 20. Through Su Wu's observation, it was discovered that the reason why the Foot Basin Kingdom was able to suppress everyone. The main reason was that these four or five professionals were all level 30 professionals. On the Shenxia Kingdom side, the level 30 professionals and professionals close to this level have become corpses. The highest level of professionals is 25. Ha ha, you bunch of trash, how dare you invade the steel German base? You are simply courting death. The professionals from the Foot Basin Kingdom shouted wildly. The ghost transformed warriors used back mounted machine guns. They continuously bombarded the weakest in the core of the team. This forced the auxiliary professionals of Shenxia country to hold up a large-scale shield. The professionals of Jiaobin country took the opportunity to attack the defensive professionals at the outermost edge of the team through long-range interference attacks and other alchemists. Brothers, hold on, someone in the group of Shenxia professionals shouted loudly, and commanded the various professionals in the team to counterattack and intercept. For a while, the scene was roaring continuously. At this moment, boom, 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 the ghost-transformed warriors who were besieging the professionals of Shenxia country were suddenly knocked to the ground by three-meter-high little giants. Immediately afterwards, twelve goblin chieftains who had been promoted to level 50 were released by Su Wu. Double, accompanied by Su Wu's order. At the same time, Gobmai and the goblin chieftain cast a double multiplication blessing on themselves and the professionals of Shenxia country. Lightning chain. Then, Su Wu's voice sounded again. At this time, the professionals of Jiaobin country realized that someone came to rescue. At this moment, a level 30 archer professional of Jiaobin country raised his bow and aimed at Su Wu. The reason why they surrounded but did not kill. To attract rescue. So this fatal arrow. They had been prepared for a long time. Brother, be careful, their archers are mythical professionals, with a special talent blessing of a headshot. And super critical hit. At this time, the people in the trapped Shenxia professional team shouted anxiously. Thunderbolt, when many voices intertwined together. A blazing electric light woven into a huge network. Lightning chain 1 chain 2, 2 chains 4, 4 chains 8, 8 chains 16. The powerful electric current flashed quickly between the ghost and the professional of the foot basin country. Constructed a huge electric grid. Buzz. A defensive light curtain blocked the professional of the foot basin country and accurately intercepted the lightning chain. At this time, a purple black chain quietly passed through the magic barrier and nailed to the archer who was gathering strength to release the bowstring. In the blink of an eye, the body of this professional shrank quickly. The bow and arrow in its hand fell down due to exhaustion. Morgana appeared in the sight of all professionals. Her soul chain specifically attacks the soul and can penetrate all elemental shields. Just restrain this kind of defense. Not good. The faces of other professionals in the foot basin country changed drastically when they saw this. But at this time, the mutation happened again. They suddenly found. Su Wu had disappeared. At this moment, Su Wu used the teleportation skill to exchange positions with a ghoul that ran quickly to the back of the Foot Basin Country professional team. He used the mind chain and the imprisonment skill of the imprisonment set on this group of beasts. In the blink of an eye, most of the Foot Basin Country professionals were imprisoned in place. Four professionals were nailed in place by Su Wu's mind chain and fell into a dizzy state. Boom, 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 then. The professional of the God Shaw country who was just cooperating with the ghoul to fight against the ghost suddenly found. A large number of giant axe goblin warriors appeared next to Su Wu again. These warriors swung their axes one by one, seriously injuring all the professionals of the foot basin country. Good, Su Wu smiled slightly when he saw this. Morgana stopped attacking, and while helping Su Wu collect the spoils on the ground, she used the scepter of harvest to absorb the vitality of these professionals and the phantom. At this time, the countdown in Su Wu's sight was still 40 seconds. 
The shadow assassin who was looking for the regular building came back. Su Wu used the teleportation skill to switch positions with the shadow assassin one after another. After six skills, that is, twelve seconds, he came to a small job transfer temple. Slave, Su Wen used the skill. In the blink of an eye, the small job transfer temple was successfully enslaved by him. After he put the temple into the slave space, only then did he have the heart to check his experience value. Your slave successfully hunted the phantom, and you gained 250 experience points. Buzz. Congratulations on successfully reaching level 22. Dot dot dot. Before Su Wu opened his face, golden light burst out from his body. The continuous prompts continued to flash. Your slave successfully hunted down the phantom assassin, and you get 250 experience points. Your slave successfully hunted down the phantom assassin, and you get 150 experience points. Su Wu smiled when he saw this. In just a few dozen seconds, his ghouls have hunted down at least 68 phantom assassin warriors. This record is not bad. Soon, the countdown reached zero. Su Wu's body flashed with golden light, and he disappeared in the trial copy. When he came out, the receipt prompt was still flashing in front of his eyes. At this time, he looked up. The portal he had just entered had turned green. He waited in place for two minutes. After no experience prompt appeared, he used the summoning skill on the slave army left in the copy. Buzz. The next second, a light flashed around him. This caused the professionals not far away to look over. Before everyone could see what it was, Su Wu had already sent the slave army into the slave space. He then looked at his experience bar. Level, 22, 12,650, 19 thousandths. At least 120 ghosts were killed. Su Wu muttered softly. He turned his head to look at other dungeons around him. In the blink of an eye, he found another dungeon that needed rescue and hurried over. Buzz, when Su Wu just entered the dungeon space, a team of more than 100 people teleported out of the dungeon space almost at the same time. Ha, huh, finally out, it's so dangerous, we were almost buried in the dungeon. Everyone couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Then, they looked at the teleportation gate that was flashing red light with a sad face. Click, at this time, another professional wanted to enter for support. Everyone hurriedly stopped him, don't go in. The destruction program has been activated in there. It is expected that in 12 seconds, the base will cause a magnitude 8 earthquake on the Richter scale. At that time, the earthquake will crack the dome of the base and cause a flood to flow back. Why didn't you say it earlier? Someone has already gone in. The man was stunned and shouted at everyone. Isn't this a disguised killing? Everyone's face changed suddenly after hearing this. Then someone shouted, We don't know either. Besides, our team leader sister Ji Yu Ying is still in there. The shouting of the crowd attracted the attention of the people around. At this time, Zhang Ning had just returned triumphantly from another dungeon. He heard that Ji Yu Yan was trapped in the dungeon, and hurried over, what's going on here? Tell me quickly. Lord Zhang Ning, this dungeon is located under a reservoir. There is an artificial earthquake program. Once the self-destruct program is activated, an earthquake will be triggered, and the base will be destroyed with the help of the water pressure of the reservoir. Our mission was originally going very smoothly, but suddenly four level 30 Onmyojis came from the other side, and the other side actually directly activated the self-destruct program of the base. Lord Ji Yu Yan fought against five Onmyojis to cover our retreat, so we had a chance to escape. Everyone hurriedly explained. Zhang Ning breathed a sigh of relief after hearing this, it doesn't matter. As long as there is no other disaster that affects the space, Ji Yu Yan will definitely come back. After you come back, she will have no worries, this trip is worth it. But our mission is not completed. Someone said unwillingly. Others followed suit and said, yes. The mission requires us to do everything possible to exchange all the benefit foods in the food vending machines in the target base, and we only exchanged half. What a pity, that is a rare food that is delicious and can improve various physical data, and even permanently increase the four dimensions and immunity. Dot dot dot, Zhang Ning ignored the regrets of the crowd and looked at another professional just now and asked, you said someone went in just now. Who is that person, do you know him? The man hurriedly said Su Wu's physical characteristics. 
Zhang Ning's face changed slightly after hearing this, this is too much. Said, he didn't care about other people. He hurriedly walked into the dungeon. Ji Yu Yan, you fool. When encountering this situation, you didn't arrange someone to come out and warn. It's enough. Zhang Ning couldn't help cursing. If something happens to Su Wu, we will definitely be skinned. We will definitely be targeted everywhere in the future. Buzz. The next second, he entered the dungeon. At this time, the warning sound in the copy reached his ears. Warning. The base self-destruction program is activated. In one second, the base will encounter a magnitude 8 earthquake on the Richter scale. Boom. Zhang Ning had just heard the warning. The entire base suddenly shook. The passage in front of him collapsed with a crash. Even though he was already a second-time professional. In the face of such danger. Still powerless. Zhang Ning couldn't help but curse when he saw the road ahead was destroyed. Just when he wanted to silently recite, Liang Yi Tian Sha, to leave here. The base suddenly returned to normal. Only cracks on the walls of the passage. As if telling that everything that happened just now was real. Stop, Zhang Ning said in disbelief. How is this possible? At the same time, in front of a wide hall, the five Yin Yang masters who were using the heroic spirits to build a defense were stunned. Why did it stop? What happened? Ji Yu Yan, who was also in a defensive state, was also stunned. What the hell is going on? The earthquake has already started. How can it just stop? Crash. At this time, Su Wu walked out of a passage full of rubble calmly. He was holding a ball of earth yellow sphere in his hand. This thing was nothing else. It was the magnitude 8 earthquake he enslaved. What he didn't expect was that. The enslaved earthquake actually appeared in his hand in the form of an energy ball. It also became a one-time weapon. Item. Earthquake ball. Level. Richter 8. Identity. Su Wu slave. Status. Active. How to use. Throw it to the ground to trigger a magnitude 8 earthquake. Duration. 10 seconds. Hello everyone. Su Wu smiled and walked towards Ji Yu Yan. I'm here to rescue you. Did you cause the earthquake just now? Ji Yu Yan was dumbfounded and couldn't help asking a question. Then, he wanted to slap himself twice. How the hell is this possible? The five Yin Yang masters in the foot basin all swallowed their saliva nervously. In their opinion, the existence that can calm the earthquake must be far beyond the second level professional. They are level 30 professionals who have just completed the job transfer. In front of such a master, they are like chickens. For a while, they didn't even dare to breathe. Su Wu ignored Ji Yu Yan and turned his head to look at the five Yin Yang masters, solve the danger first. In a flash of thought, he directly used the skill, slave. The five Yin Yang masters were so frightened that they trembled all over. Defend, defend, the shouts rang out. The Yin Yang masters did their best to stack up layers of shields for themselves. And arranged all the heroic spirits to block them. Buzz. Congratulations on successfully enslaving Yamamoto Hanako. You get Yamamoto Hanako's dedication. You get the Green Yin Yang Master exclusive set, Heroic Soul Dance 6. You get 10 million gold coins 6. You get Yamamoto Hanako's Diary 6. You get 100 Intermediate Defense Charms 6. You get 100 Intermediate Fast Healing Charms 6. You get S Level Rare Food, 1 Skewer of Rebirth 6. Dot dot dot. In the blink of an eye, a bunch of prompts appeared in front of Su Wu. He signaled Yamamoto Hanako not to move. He turned to enslave other Yin Yang masters. After the other four Yin Yang masters were all enslaved, Su Wu has already harvested a lot of spoils. The contributions of the five Yin Yang masters are almost the same. Only the food at the end is different. All this seems extremely long. In fact, only a few seconds have passed. Crash. Just as Ji Yu Ying was about to attack, I saw that the five Yin Yang masters actually took back all the heroic spirits. They suddenly knelt in front of Su Wu. They said respectfully, Greetings, Master. Please forgive our sins just now. Ji Yu Ying was startled and turned to look at Su Wu, Are you a spy? Sister, stop it. We are my own people. They have been enslaved by me. Su Wu hurriedly explained, This is not a matter of accusing others. It's humiliation. This is intolerable. Besides, he hates traitors the most. How could he do such a thing? Ji Yu Ying didn't believe it. Where is the evidence? 
Su Wu pulled the corner of his mouth and looked at the panel by himself. Two ghouls appeared around him. Ji Yu Ying saw this and used the detection technique on the ghouls. This time she failed. The level is too high than mine, so the detection technique is ineffective. Ji Yu Ying took two steps back in fear. She immediately took out a photo stone to record the scene at the moment. After the photo was recorded. Then she decisively chose to leave the dungeon. Buzz. In the blink of an eye, Ji Yu Ying disappeared in the dungeon. In this way, no one will know my ability. Su Wu looked at the area where Ji Yu Ying disappeared in surprise, and he secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Intermediate Defense Talisman. Blue, props up a magic shield that can resist 10,000 points of damage, lasts for 30 seconds. Intermediate Fast Healing Talisman. Blue, heals all internal and external injuries within 1 second, and regenerates broken fingers within 30 minutes. Uses 1 time, consumes 3 months of life value. Rebirth of Grilled Skewers. S level rare food, within 12 hours after consumption, you will get a chance to rebirth at the origin of death. This rebirth only supports physical rebirth, and the props you carry are not within the rebirth range. Durable Lamb Loin Sashimi. A level rare food, after consumption, you can get two times the continuous damage or continuous gain effect of all skills. Lasts for 10 minutes. Confused Peeing Beef Balls. A level rare food. After consumption, your attack skills will temporarily have a confusion effect. Lasts for 15 minutes, and the confusion effect lasts for 10 seconds. Instant Fresh River. S level rare food. After consumption, instantly refresh the cooldown time of all your skills. Comma comma. Su Wu couldn't help but marvel at the spoils in front of him. This time he got a total of 30 sets of green on Myoji exclusive suits, all of which were exclusive to the second level profession. 300 million gold coins, all of which were real blue star global universal gold coins, piled together like a gold mountain. 30 diaries of 5 on Myojis. These recorded the career path of the on Myojis and the experience of communicating with the heroic spirits. 3000 intermediate defense charms and 3000 intermediate rapid healing charms. A total of 60 plates of various foods, 10 kinds. Su Wu couldn't estimate the specific value. After all, Morgana still had some spoils. He also had one earthquake ball and two job transfer temples. I don't know if this thing can be sold. Su Wu muttered softly. He turned his head and scanned the surroundings. Soon he found a small job transfer temple. Next to the job transfer temple, there was also a vending machine embedded in the wall. The vending machine flashed with golden light. There are all kinds of food ingredients in it. Su Wu's eyes moved after seeing it. Regular building. Regular building. Food vending machine. Type. Dependent building. Function. Food sales. Refresh time. Refresh once every 72 hours. Restriction. Each customer is only allowed to trade 10 million gold coins of food every 72 hours, and a maximum of 3 transactions are allowed. No limit on the number of transactions for everyone. Affiliation. Foot basin. Good. Good stuff. Su Wu's eyes were full of fire. He instantly guessed the task of this copy. Buy out all the food in the vending machine. There are more than 30 kinds of food left in the vending machine. The cheapest one costs 1 million gold coins. The most expensive one is exactly 10 million. Su Wu hurriedly enslaved the food vending machine. He then enslaved the job transfer temple of this base. After searching again, then he left this copy space. Buzz. When Su Wu returned to the temporary team space. The dungeon portal in the space has disappeared. Only Zhang Ning, Kelly and Ji Yu Yan are left here. That's him. He's a spy. Ji Yu Yan pointed at Su Wu and said. Su Wu raised his eyebrows and looked at Zhang Ning. Zhang Ning laughed. Ji Yu Yan. If he was a spy, there would be no raid on Dongjing City this time. What? You also launched an attack on the foot basin? Su Wu couldn't help asking. Zhang Ning said mysteriously. Watch the news tomorrow morning. Brother. By the way, where are the five yin yang masters? He asked with a smile. Buzz. Su Wu summoned the five yin yang masters. Which one do you want to keep? Only one is enough. Zhang Ning picked one. Su Wu summoned Morgana. Buzz. Morgana walked towards the other four yin yang masters. She used the harvest scepter to absorb their vitality. Watching the yin yang masters turn into a pile of dead branches. Zhang Ning, 
who was envious of Su Wu for having such a beautiful subordinate, shuddered. This girl is really a rose with thorns. This made Klee's eyes shine with light, and she couldn't help but mutter in her heart, good. Good, good. With this general, the future tasks will be much easier. He is really not. I misunderstood him. Ji Yu Yan's eyes widened in surprise. She took a step forward and bowed solemnly to Su Wu, Su Wu. I'm sorry, I misunderstood you. Please forgive me. As she said, she took out a scroll and handed it to Su Wu. Su Wu smiled slightly. It's good that the misunderstanding is resolved. I won't be polite with the gift. While speaking, he glanced at the scroll. Primary talent upgrade scroll can increase talent by one level. Only applicable to professionals below level 30, talent limit does not exceed level 10. Each talent can be used up to 10 times, and the highest level is 10. Hum, this is a good thing. Su Wu's eyes lit up after seeing it. Kei Li, who was standing next to him, was shocked after seeing it. Ji Yu Yan is also recruiting team members. What is she doing? Want to kidnap my designated team members? No way. As she said, she took a step forward. She walked close to Su Wu. Su Wu, I'll give you a gift. You will be my team member from now on. I appoint you as the deputy captain of our Shengxia Academy's school team. Kei Li took out a prop and handed it to Su Wu, saying solemnly. Su Wu moved and looked at Kei Li. I haven't become a member of the service center yet. You will definitely get in this time. Kei Li said confidently. This made Ji Yu Yan who was standing next to him, raise his head and look at Zhang Ning. Zhang Ning wiped the sweat from his forehead and coughed twice, Su Wu. Time is almost up. I will go to Dujong City to present you with the reward at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. You wait for me at home. As soon as he finished speaking, he used his authority to close the temporary copy. Su Wu and others were teleported back to their respective locations. After returning home, Su Wu looked at the time. It was already 12 o'clock. Obviously, the temporary copy space created by the Shengxia Empire Liang Tianxia is synchronized with the time of the real world. Su Wu then looked at the props in his hand. A-level gain talent card. After use, you will randomly obtain one A-level gain talent. Awesome. This clay is also good. It seems that she may be my direct captain in the future. Su Wu guessed something after the conversation just now. At this moment. Su Wu used the primary talent upgrade scroll. Buzz. The King of Servants seal was promoted to level 5. King of Servants seal level 5 SSSSS level. Your slave skill success rate is 100% and the consumption is 0. After you successfully enslave a life, it will offer you 7 times the experience, 7 times the props or 7 times the materials. Comma. At this time, the headquarters of the Empire Special Service Center. Zhang Ning. Kei Li and Ji Yu Yan returned to the underground base. He said to the two, after returning, write a personal report and evaluation on the team seed based on the performance of each of your team members. Submit it to the office tomorrow night at the latest. Boss, I have already chosen Su Wu. No matter how he is evaluated, he is a member of our team. No, Vice Captain, no one can help. This is what you promised me. Kei Li said solemnly. Zhang Ning nodded. The elder has approved the plan to set up a school team in Shengxia Academy. You are the captain and you decide the affairs of the team. Yeah, Kei Li jumped up excitedly, turned her head and made a face at Ji Yu Yan, and left the room excitedly. Ji Yu Yan frowned and said, I think Su Wu is more suitable for our summoner team. Su Wu has been selected by the elders. This trial is just a character test. No matter how many points he gets, he will enter the school team. Zhang Ning shook his head and said, don't compete with Kelly this time. No one I have chosen has escaped. In the end, it is up to Su Wu to decide. Ji Yu Yan said confidently with his head held high. Before leaving, she looked at Zhang Ning seriously and said, if Kelly didn't act too impatient, I wouldn't compete with her. But she succeeded in arousing my desire to win. I won't give in in this game. Early in the morning, Su Wu sat on the sofa on the third floor, fiddling with his A-level talent. Among the spoils he harvested last night, he obtained six A-level talent treasure chests. He got one A-level gain talent card. There is also one SSS level item, six skill synthesis scrolls. At the moment, he obtained six talents through the treasure chest. 
A-level meditation, A-level strength, A-level fast memory, A-level memory copying, A-level plant catalysis, and A-level element affinity. Except for strength, which can increase the extra damage bonus, the others are auxiliary talents. After the A-level gain talent card was opened, he got a talent for A-level skill growth gain. Looking at the seven talents in his hand, Su Wu took out the skill synthesis scroll. Buzz. He quickly started the synthesis scroll. A panel appeared in front of him. Please implant talents or skills into the panel synthesis position. Synthesis position. Zero. Success rate. Zero percent. Su Wu first put meditation in it. I saw that the panel values change. Synthesis position becomes 1, S level talent synthesis success rate 20%, A level talent synthesis success rate 100%. He then implanted 4 talents into it A level fast memory, A level memory copying, A level plant catalysis, and A level element affinity. C. Synthesis position becomes 5, S level talent synthesis success rate 100%, SS level talent synthesis success rate 1%. Hum, not bad. Su Wu's eyes moved. He directly chose synthesis. Buzz. A ray of light flashed. Frenzy transformation. SS level talent. Transformation effect increased by 5 times. Duration increased by 5 times. After transformation enters frenzy mode, in this mode you will not have any pain. Damage increased by 5 times, with primary healing effect. Frenzy mode lasts for 10 seconds. Note. Exclusive talent for transformation professionals. Ah, I can't use it. Su Wu was shocked, and then sighed with regret. He didn't expect his luck to be so good. Unfortunately, he can't use this talent. Even if he can use it, he doesn't have the transformation skill. It is equivalent to a waste of talent. He immediately took out another skill synthesis scroll. He followed the same method as before. First, implant the A-level strength talent and the A-level skill growth gain talent. This shows that the success rate of synthesizing A-level talent is 100%, and the success rate of S-level talent is 40%. When he implanted the SS-level talent he just synthesized. Buzz. The panel changed. The synthesis position becomes 3, and the success rate of S-level talent synthesis is 100%. The success rate of SS level talent synthesis is 0.01%. Hum, there is still such a chance of merging SS level talent with A level talent. Su Wu muttered softly. He tried to take one of the A level talents and found that the success rate was reduced to 80%. He immediately inserted the A level talent again and chose to synthesize. Buzz. A ray of light flashed. When Su Wu saw this talent, his eyes were full of excitement. Good. Good, good. Skill growth gain. S level talent, all non talent skills, the data growth value is three times the original basis. This talent has been upgraded from A level to S level. Su Wu muttered. He suddenly realized if you can assign a specific talent level in this way, ask when you think of it. He immediately summoned Ari to ask. Ari shook her head after hearing this. Skill synthesis scrolls can only be synthesized randomly, and what to synthesize depends entirely on luck. There is only one way to upgrade talents. What a pity. Su Wu sighed. Dot dot dot. Just as he was thinking. The doorbell rang in the living room. Su Wu got up and walked towards the terrace. Looking down, Zhang Ning was standing at the door of the house. He jumped down from the balcony and came directly to the door of the courtyard, welcoming Zhang Ning into the house. Your reception style is really special. Zhang Ning looked at Su Wu and said jokingly. Su Wu smiled and looked at Zhang Ning and asked, How was my performance yesterday? Excellent. I came here for three purposes this time. One is to issue the task reward of yesterday's trial. The second is to invite you to the Empire Special Talent Service Center. The third is to bring you a special task. Zhang Ning looked at Su Wu's appearance and directly stated his purpose. He first took out a contract. Sign this contract, you will officially become a member of the Empire Special Talent Service Center. Your identity has been confirmed, the deputy captain of the school team of Shengxia Academy. Oh, Su Wu picked up the contract and read it carefully. There are many items on it. It is divided into confidentiality and rules. It mainly writes about what he can do after joining the Empire Special Talent Service Center, what rules he needs to abide by, and what are the principles. The content above is very detailed. Basically, 
all the responsibilities and contributions after joining were written. According to what is said above, after Su Wu joined the service center, it can be directly linked to the Chenkin network built by the empire based on the two yin and yang world. In the Chenkin network, he can accept tasks and use the copy transmission function of the Chenkin network by paying and can also submit task reports through this network. The network has the Empire Special Talent Service Center's own online shopping system. Su Wu can open a store to sell things himself or sell things to the service center. The service center has two requirements for subordinates minus one. Patriotism. 2. Abide by confidentiality regulations. The minimum requirement for subordinates to join the service center is to be a provincial hero medal winner. Welfare can receive a salary of 1 million gold coins per month and can get support from the Empire's intelligence department. Mainly responsible for clearing dangerous copies, enemy agents, heinous crimes, etc. in the Empire. After Su Wu read it, he signed his name on it. Buzz. The light flashed on the contract. A brand appeared in the air and was branded on Su Wu's forehead. In a trance, he felt that he seemed to be connected with some kind of behemoth. Then, a prompt jumped into his eyes. Congratulations, newcomer Su Wu, you have officially joined the Empire Special Talent Service Center. Connecting to the Chenkin Network. Please wait. Connection successful. When using, you only need to call the word, Chenkin. The prompt disappeared. An interface appeared in front of Su Wu. Some information was displayed on the interface. Name, Su Wu, Identity, Specially Recruited Professional of the Empire Special Talent Service Center. Account, 370 million gold coins, contribution points, 1 million. Below the information are, Task, Online Store, Communication, Intelligence. Four modules. Among them, Zhang Ning and Kelly have been added as friends by default in the communication. There are various columns and search contents in the intelligence. However, to use this module, you need to spend contribution points to check. Online stores are divided into gold coin online stores and contribution point online stores. Among them, there are 104 gold coin online stores and 110,031 contribution point online stores. These online stores not only support instant payment and instant receipt of goods. They also support equipment repair, upgrade, forging and the acquisition of various materials. From the statistics of the two online stores, the currency in circulation of Chenkin Network is mainly contribution points. This is simply eye-opening for Su Wu. It makes him seem to have returned to the previous life, that convenient and comfortable online world. The task module is marked with nearby tasks, exclusive tasks, etc. The rewards for these tasks are all contribution points. The completion of the task is recorded and counted by Liang Yitianxia. After completion, the task executor only needs to submit it by himself. The task supports the function of remote temporary team space, which allows teammates from all over the world to temporarily enter a space. Just like the temporary team space in action yesterday. At least 10 billion contribution points are spent. After reading it, Su Wu looked at Zhang Ning fiercely, this. It's like a combination of the internet and games from the old days, right? Zhang Ning seemed to understand Su Wu's excitement. He said seriously. In fact, the Chenkin network is designed with convenient and fast support as its main function. Due to the operating capital and the number of links allowed by the rules, at this stage, it is only used for the army within the empire and our empire's talent service center, security committee, professional committee and external expeditionary forces. The modules you are exposed to now only have the resources and information of our service center. When you are promoted to my position, you can open other functions. Okay, no more talking. Said, Zhang Ning issued this reward to Su Wu through the Chenkin network. Ding, a prompt appeared in Su Wu's vision. He thought. The interface of the Chenkin network that was just closed appeared again. He found that his contribution points had become 51 million. There was also a message next to it. Reward from the Empire Special Talent Service Center, 50 million contribution points. So much, Su Wu asked. This was far beyond his imagination. Zhang Ning said solemnly, not much. This is all earned by your life. Those who fight for the country will be rewarded hundreds and thousands of times more than ordinary contribution tasks. 
The task given to you this time is that you must upgrade to level 30 before the international life and death trial. You have less than two days now. Can I do it? He asked seriously. Su Wu smiled. Real men never say no. Okay. Next, the center will prepare specific tasks for you. At that time, you will see the tasks in the exclusive tasks of the Chenkin Network task module. If you reach the specified level, you can take this task. Zhang Ning reminded. This task is to be carried out in the international life and death trial. You are the only one who has reached the preparatory standard in the service center. I hope you take it seriously. Okay, I have explained everything that should be explained. I am leaving. Said. Zhang Ning stood up and was about to walk out. Su Wu hurriedly stopped Zhang Ning. Captain Zhang. Do you accept the small job transfer temple? This thing involves job transfer. Unless it is a force or organization. There is no energy to use if an individual professional buys it. He now has three small job transfer temples. Naturally, he hopes to exchange resources with it. What? Zhang Ning was stunned and scratched his forehead. He thought he had heard it wrong. Su Wu emphasized it again. Where did you get this thing? Zhang Ning couldn't help but shout. Then, he seemed to think of something and couldn't help but say, yesterday's action. No wonder there was such a big reaction over there, how did you do it? Take it out and let me see. Su Wu took Zhang Ning to the open space outside. He summoned a small job transfer temple. Zhang Ning's eyes widened after seeing it, really? This is... Then, he gave Su Wu a thumbs up, awesome. Brother, you are really a talent. Buzz, Su Wu was worried about causing the neighbors to be frightened, so he quickly put the things into the slave space. Zhang Ning quickly woke up from the shock. He looked at Su Wu strangely and said, so, the three lost small job transfer temples and one food vending machine are all here with you. Yes, Su Wu nodded and admitted. Plop, Zhang Ning's legs softened and he almost fell to the ground. He said to Su Wu excitedly, Brother, how are you going to sell this thing? It depends on how much money our center gives. Contribution points are fine. Supplies are fine. By the way, I need a primary talent upgrade scroll. Su Wu responded. Zhang Ning nodded. Don't tell anyone about this. I will go back and help you with this. After success, I will contact you through the Chenkin network. After that, Zhang Ning left here in a hurry. When he arrived in front of the teleportation array controlled by the Dujong city government, an urgent message suddenly jumped into his eyes. Hum, an invading small rift copy appeared in the Thunder Valley outside Dujong city. Zhang Ning paused slightly, and then gave instructions, Ji Yu Yan. Contact the seed in Panhe city and give him this task. Ding, Ji Yu Yan replied immediately. Although the Thunder Valley is in the middle of Dujong City and Panhe City, it actually belongs to Dujong City. You can find Su Wu to perform this task. Su Wu has other tasks and needs time to upgrade. Zhang Ning responded immediately. Dot dot dot. At this time, Su Wu has returned to the bedroom. You can use the experience pack. He whispered softly. Buzz. The next second, he used the summoning skill to enter the slave space. Master. Master. Dot dot dot, Gobmai, Ari, and Morgana surrounded him excitedly. The surrounding goblins, ghouls, and shadow assassins were neatly arranged in formation. The treehouse looked up. At the end of the endless horizon was a lush jungle. He appeared in the area where the Kizai gourd vine was planted. There were also large areas of sky blue wheat and ice buds next to it. The sky blue wheat had sprouted and started to grow. The Kizai gourd vine had grown to three meters long. Next to it was a mountain of gold coins. There were as many as 300 million. There were also various kinds of loot neatly arranged in categories. Further away were three small job transfer temples and a food vending machine. Su Wu walked straight to the goblin team. He first released the level 50 giant axe goblin. After all 63 giant axe goblins were released. Buzz. Su Wu's body was shining with golden light. Congratulations on your promotion to level 30. In less than five minutes, he successfully promoted to the maximum level of the current stage by releasing the Goblin Experience Pack. 63 Great Axe Goblins brought him 1,575,000 experience points. Adding the 12,650 experience points in his original experience pool, he was promoted to level 30 in a few seconds. 
The biggest change is that after level 23, each level requires 5,000 more experience points than the previous level. When level 29 is promoted to level 30, the required experience points are directly changed to 99,999 points. This makes the experience points Su Wu needs to be promoted to level 30 become 319,999. So far, Su Wu has reached the highest level before the second job change. He did not release other goblins again. Instead, he used a level 10 blood crystal to promote Ari, Gobmai and Morgana to level 51st. This allowed Ari to upgrade the experience packs of other goblins. In this way, he will get an extra experience pack of level 60 monsters. Among them, 20 monsters upgraded from level 6 Great Axe Goblin Soldiers to level 60 brought a total of 100,000 experience points to Su Wu. Two monsters upgraded from level 7 Great Axe Goblin Chieftains to level 60 brought 9,800 experience points to Su Wu. 76 monsters upgraded from level 15 Great Axe Goblin Soldiers to level 60 brought 311,600 experience points to Su Wu. 10 monsters upgraded from level 18 Great Axe Goblin Chieftains to level 50 brought 38,000 experience points to Su Wu. This time, 108 monsters, with the blessing of 5 times the experience of releasing skills, brought a total of 2,297,000 experience points to Su Wu. The excess experience points have far exceeded the promotion requirements of level 30. Fill the experience slot. Of course, only at this level can experience be stuck like this. After absorbing the experience pack, the number of slaves in the slave space has become 23. Su Wu just looked at his panel. Name. Su Wu. Profession. Enslaver. The only hidden one. Level. 33,552,001,200,000. Strength. 3,009 plus 700. Agility. 3,007 plus 700. Spirit. 3,012 plus 950. Physique. 3,009 plus 1,300. Other additional attributes. Block. 500. Equipment, Golden Crow Arm Armor, Physical Belt, Imprisonment Set, Demon Necklace. Slavery Space Level 30 23 300 tenths, Space Diameter 1273 kilometers. Nine-Tailed Beast 1, Ghoul 11, Shadow Assassin 9, Demon 1, Goblin 1, Environment, Jungle 6 kilometers. Characteristics, Level 4 Resource Space to be advanced. Skills. Slavery level 20, summoning level 20, release level 20, mind chain level 20, displacement level 20. Talents King of Servants level 7, slave gain level 6, freezing level 5, resurrection level 5, skill growth gain level 2. Professional characteristics Hundredfold growth to be promoted, hidden to be promoted. Su Wu looked at his attribute panel, with a strange light flashing in his eyes. His attention was first placed on the to be advanced option at the end of the slave space. Buzz, you get two points of advanced value. Su Wu found that the slave space still only had the level 4 resource space characteristics that could use the advanced value. Immediately click the advanced value on the resource space characteristics. Buzz, level 5 resource space, double growth. Plants planted in the space grow 10 times faster. The next second, the slave space shook slightly. In the blink of an eye, the seven-year-old gourd vine in front of him actually grew to 15 meters. Green leaves grew on the vine. After the leaves grew, flower buds began to appear slowly. At the same time, the sky blue wheat also grew from a seedling to a green wheat seedling as tall as a person. Its color also turned to sky blue at a speed visible to the naked eye. Finally, it stopped at the color conversion stage. This indicates that the sky blue wheat will produce ears. On the other side, Bing Rui grew directly to about 30 centimeters. The color changed from light blue to dark blue. And at its rhizome, new flower buds emerged. Further away, the jungle that merged into the slave space. It became more dense with a rustling sound. At this moment, a word appeared in Su Wu's mind, 10 times growth. He hurriedly clicked the second stage on the resource space. Buzz. The resource space was promoted to level 6. This time, there was no change. It seems that it should be promoted every five levels. Su Wu muttered softly. He continued to look at the skills. The skills of slavery, summoning, and release had long been promoted to level 20. Therefore, 
This upgrade did not get a promotion. Only after Su Wu has completed the second transformation and broken the limit can he continue to upgrade. The two skills of mind chain and teleportation were promoted to the maximum level of 20 at the same time. Mind chain level 20 continuous attack skill releases mind chain to seven targets and the target anchored by the chain will continue to be in a dizzy state and will continue to suffer 270 points plus 90% of the spirit value per second. Spell damage consume 10 points of spirit per second. Teleportation level 20 you can instantly switch positions with any slave within a range of 310 meters. Because they were promoted to level 17 when Su Wu was level 22. When Su Wu was at level 25, both skills were exactly level 20. Therefore, when these two skills were upgraded, they only enjoyed the 3x data growth value bonus of the skill growth gain. Among them, the target of the soul chain at level 20 increased by 1 again, and 3 times means 3 targets. Its attack damage also increased by 30% of the mental value damage, and under the effect of 3x data growth value, it became 90% of the mental value. The increased damage this time. Make the soul chain a powerful skill. It is no longer a slow and slow, grinding and killing, skill. Su Wu looked at the talent again. Slave King Seal Level 7 SSSSS Level, your enslavement skill has a 100% success rate and zero consumption. The life that is successfully enslaved by you will offer you 9 times the experience, 9 times the props or 9 times the materials. Slave Gain Level 6 SSSSS Level, the life you enslave can be upgraded by swallowing special materials and gain 8 times the attributes and skill gains. Freedom Permanent slaves can leave the slave position and move freely in the activity space and quickly recover from their injuries. Resurrection. Slaves who are permanently fixed in the slave space will have five opportunities to revive in the slave space and each resurrection consumes 100 spirit points. Note. Slaves who are permanently solidified will never be freed. Frozen level 5 SSS level. Within 30 meters, all forces or targets attacking you will be frozen. Frozen state. Unable to move, attack ineffective. Duration 60 seconds. Passive trigger. Resurrection level 5 SSSS level. Every 24 hours, there are 6 opportunities to revive at the anchor coordinates without carrying personal belongings. Skill growth gain level 2 S level talent. For all non-talent skills, the data growth value is 5 times the original basis. Su Wu found that the gains of the slaves after promotion became more regular, and there were entries, not as messy as before. When slaves are promoted through special materials, they will gain 8 times the attributes and skill gains. The multiple of the King of Servants seal has been increased to 9 times. In other words, as long as Su Wu succeeds in enslaving, he will get 9 times the experience, 9 times the props, and 9 times the material dedication of the slave. This is so cool. The range and duration of the freeze are extended. Resurrection has increased the chance of two resurrection. The skill growth gain is increased by one times per level. It has become five times the current one. The overall talent has been improved. It has increased the multiples of Su Wu's acquisition of materials, props, and experience. It also allows his slaves to get more resurrections. It also gives him a wider range of protection and security. It is simply killing two birds with one stone. Finally, Su Wu looked at the professional characteristics. He always thought that this place would not change. Hundredfold growth pending promotion, each promotion consumes 1 million experience points. Hidden pending promotion, each promotion consumes 1 million experience points. Su Wu looked at Ari at the first time. Ari, what's going on? Master, this is a unique promotion strategy for every job change. It is also an exclusive upgrade project for the unique hidden profession. Ari explained solemnly, the reason why the unique hidden profession is better than the mythical profession. The most important one is here. The unique hidden profession can improve the professional characteristics. There is only a chance to upgrade when changing jobs. So I need 2 million experience to upgrade them. Su Wu said excitedly. Ari shook his head and smiled and said, no. These two characteristics can be upgraded to level 5 before the second job change. Each level requires 1 million experience. Once you have a second job change, then, the next time you change jobs, the new maximum level will be calculated and matched according to the level of your professional characteristics. 
That is to say, if you change your professional characteristics at the full level for the first time, then you can upgrade the level of the characteristics and the data bonus at the third job change will be the highest, otherwise it will be very weak. Ari took a step back after speaking. Su Wu nodded in understanding. If that's the case, I want to strengthen everything about this profession, so I have to upgrade these two features to level 5. 1 million experience per level, I need at least 12 million experience. Thinking of this, he couldn't stay at home anymore. Anyway, I want to capture a lot of Gobmai. Let's go to the dark forest first. 8.30 a.m. Su Wu left a letter and left home to go to the dungeon outside. Before leaving Dujong City, he first went to the third floor of the Empire Trading Hall. He traded all the gains from this time in the Dark Forest Dungeon. This includes, Goblin Axe 488, Chief's Crown 62, Goblin's Fang 68 Orange Pepper Fragrance Necklace 5 Orange Only. Puppet Transformation Blueprint 1 Asterisk 78, Brain Control Structure Synthesis Formula 1 Asterisk 78, Venomous Fang Dagger 1 Asterisk 6, Green On Myoji Exclusive Set, Heroic Soul Dance 30 Sets. On Myoji's Diary 30, 60 Various Foods. This time he got a total of 850 million gold coins. Most of the gold coins came from Magic Food and On Myoji Suits. The total value of the equipment produced in the dungeon within the Goblin Axe was only about a few million gold coins. At this time, Su Wu's total funds reached 1.157 billion. He took out 1.057 billion gold coins to buy the growth feed needed for Kizai Gourd, Tianqing Wheat and Bingrui Flour. He left 100 million as basic funds. Then he left the exchange. When he walked to the exchange hall, he saw many professionals gathered in front of a big screen and applauded. Good, it's really refreshing. A bunch of beasts, if it weren't for the intervention of the ugly country. They would have been exterminated long ago. Great, ha ha, today is worth celebrating, dot dot dot. Su Wu looked up. I saw a piece of news on the magic screen. Blue Star Occupational News, more than 1,000 primary occupational training bases on Mars and Venus of the Foot Basin country suffered a devastating blow. Among them, a total of four regular buildings were lost. It is suspected that the invaders from the unknown world did it. The Foot Basin country begs the ugly country to protect it. Blue Star Occupational News A magnitude 5 earthquake occurred in the East Jing city of the Foot Basin country, causing the collapse of an abandoned mine in the suburbs and causing casualties. However, the earthquake caused damage to many ground buildings in a nearby military base, and the weapons depot exploded unexpectedly, causing a strong explosion. Looking at the news above, Su Wu smiled slightly. He was curious about Zhang Ning and his team's mission last night. The so-called abandoned mine might not be a mine. It's a real military base. If possible, I will stuff this earthquake ball into your vomiting intestines. Su Wu muttered softly. He took advantage of no one noticing him. He turned around and went to the suburbs. When he arrived in front of the dark forest copy, it was still very lively here. Su Wu didn't see any familiar faces. No one around him recognized him. He quickly entered the dark forest dungeon of hell difficulty. Since you have been promoted to level 30, you will not get any benefits from this dungeon. In the dungeon, Su Wu saw a prompt. He ignored it. He summoned the ghoul, Ari, Gobmai, Morgana and Shadow Assassin. Soon, you successfully enslaved the Great Axe Goblin Warrior. Ha, huh, there is really no benefit at all. Su Wu was stunned. He tried to let Ari upgrade the Great Axe Goblin Warrior. After completion, he directly used the release skill. You successfully released the Great Axe Goblin Warrior, and you get 4100 experience points asterisk 5. Not bad. After the Great Axe Goblin Warrior is released, it can provide me with 20,500 experience points. That is, no experience and loot can be obtained when enslaved. So far, he can still accept it. After all, he wanted to use a large number of Gobmai to build a lightning chain network. If he just released them, he would lose some spoils. When he gathered the estimated number of Gobmai, he would be able to get at least tens of millions of experience points. Thinking of this, he sped up. Not long after, he arrived at the last camp. In the previous four camps, he had recruited a total of 83 level 15 giant axe goblins. 
Ari had used her accumulated attribute points to upgrade them all to level 60. In this last camp, there are also 10 giant axe goblin chieftains and one goblin. Boom, boom, under the rapid bombardment of the ghouls. In less than 10 seconds, the last camp of the hell level copy was completely captured. Su Wu quickly enslaved all the monsters. Finally, he looked at, Goblin. This monster looks a bit like Goblin. But the body is much worse. And the panel has also changed. Goblin Queen, Elite Boss. Level, 20. Strength, 2500. Agility, 3000. Spirit, 3600. Constitution, 3000. Skills, Multiplication, Lightning Chain, Thunder. Talent, Devouring Evolution. Hum, different from Goblin. Su Wu frowned. He tried to talk to the Goblin Queen. He found that the other party did not have the spirituality of Goblin. Like other monsters, she would only faithfully execute Su Wu's orders. But she has no thoughts and emotions of her own. Master, this is because after the boss of the current copy was enslaved by you, Gobmai's term of office has not ended. In addition, Gobmai was enslaved, and the rules mechanism forcibly promoted the female Goblin royal family as the boss, causing the female goblin to become a monster, not a group life like Gobmai, so she has no spirituality. Ari said to Su Wu at this time. She said meaningfully, of course, if you want to have some friendly exchanges with her, she should be much more controllable than Gobmai. Your Excellency the God, she doesn't know the moves that I know. This kind of garbage is only worthy of being a machine, and cannot have an interesting soul. So, I am the master's unique slave. She is just a substitute made by the rules. Gobmai responded respectfully. She seemed to be very respectful to Ari. In fact, she was indeed refuting Ari's statement. Morgana raised her lips. You can say nice things. The specific skills still need to be judged by the master. Now the scenery here is particularly beautiful, and it is under the judgment of the dungeon rules. If we want to have a friendly exchange together, it will definitely be particularly exciting. Stop. Su Wu glared at everyone. At that moment, he released 91 enslaved goblins, leaving only the Goblin Queen. Then he led the team out of the dungeon. This process took him less than 10 minutes. Then, he followed this rhythm and time and repeatedly plucked the wool of the Dark Forest Hell difficulty. About 16 hours later, when Su Wu entered the Dark Forest of Hell difficulty again. Buzz, you have reached the limit of the number of times you can enter and exit the Dark Forest dungeon. Please go to other dungeons for strategy. You have been blacklisted by the Dark Forest dungeon is prohibited from entering this. I can't get in. Su Wu blinked. He was supposed to enter the dungeon, but he found himself back to where he was. A reminder appeared on the dungeon in front of him. This made him speechless. Fortunately, he had already cleared the dungeon 99 times in a row. He had obtained 99 Goblin Queens. He had defeated 8,400 level 15 goblin soldiers and 1,000 level 18 great axe goblin chieftains. All monsters were at level 60 when released. This time, Su Wu had gained a total of 191.2 million experience points. At the moment, his level attribute column had changed from the original colorless and glare mark to a strong purple glare mark. When he looked at it, he saw a reminder appear. When your experience accumulates to 1 billion, you can randomly obtain one professional feature. Ha, huh, Su Wu was shocked when he saw this, what's going on? Ari, what's going on? Su Wu told Ari about his situation. Ari looked at Su Wu strangely and muttered, Master, this is the hidden ability of the enslaver profession. This branch task can only be unlocked when your experience reaches 100 million. So, does my profession have other hidden abilities to unlock and branch tasks that require experience or coins, etc., similar to this? Su Wu asked hurriedly. Ari shook his head. No. In that case, then march into the Thunder Valley. Su Wu made a decision quickly. Turned and headed towards the Thunder Valley farther away. On the way, he entered the slave space and spent 1,000 gold coins. Bought a meal, charging spicy chicken nuggets. Magic food, within 24 hours after use, you will not feel any fatigue or fatigue, you will always maintain the most vigorous energy and a clear mind. The chicken nuggets are crispy and spicy, and also have crispy bones. Eating them not only satisfies your appetite, 
It can also solve the problem of fatigue and exhaustion caused by continuous dungeon brushing. Just after Su Wu left the Dark Forest Dungeon, a terrifying horn sounded throughout the wilderness around the Dark Forest Dungeon. What did our savior do to the dungeon? Why is the dungeon blacklist enabled? This is so horn-like. I never thought there would be such a thing as a dungeon blacklist. Did Su Wu QFLBOSS in the dungeon? What a taste. Get out. Don't slander my idol and savior. It must be caused by brushing the dungeon too many times. There is an explanation later. Brushing the hell difficulty dungeon more than 100 times. So crazy. Dot dot dot. The Thunder Valley is in the Thunder Mountain, 30 kilometers southwest of Dujong City. The Thunder Mountain is at the junction of Dujong City and Panhe City, spanning the two cities. It is a new mountain range that automatically grew when the national era was opened. It is about 100 kilometers long and wide. The Thunder Valley Dungeon is located in a valley in the Dujong City area of Thunder Mountain. It is about 43 kilometers away from Dujong City. Because it is far away from the city. Therefore, there is no prohibition on professional fighting and killing here. Those who dare to come here to attack the dungeon. Either they are powerful professionals. Or they are members of a team or a guild. There are also lone ranger professionals like Su Wu. But they are basically powerful. When Su Wu came here, there was a large bonfire with a diameter of about 3 meters in the square in front of the Thunder Valley Dungeon. There were professional teams gathered around the bonfire. At the same time, there were also some flags fluttering in the breeze in the early morning. On both sides of the road farther away, there were small bonfires lit. There were some professional teams gathered next to the bonfire. When Su Wu came here, crash, a person walked out of the darkness. Stop. At the moment when Su Wu was about to step into the square in front of the Thunder Valley Dungeon, a professional stood up and stopped Su Wu. Su Wu frowned. What do you mean? Brother, the Thunder Valley Dungeon is reserved by our Dajiang Guild. The professional said proudly. The deadline is 6 a.m. the day after tomorrow. Go somewhere else. I need to participate in the college entrance examination the day after tomorrow, the international life and death trial event. Can you make an exception? Su Wu looked at the man and asked. The man sneered. Ha ha. Look at the teams behind you. They all have to take the college entrance examination. Still have to wait. There are mythical professionals here. They can wait. Why can't you? You have more hair than them. At this time, a member of a professional team near Su Wu couldn't help but say, Brother. Forget it. Dajiang Guild is the first guild in Panhe City, and its strength is stronger than Xuanyu, the first guild in Dujong City. The people who came to guard the dungeon this time are all level 35 second level professionals. Yeah, look at the people from Xuanyu Guild waiting obediently behind, we can't fight them. Alas. I just hope that the people in their guild can quickly reach level 30 and get the equipment they want. Otherwise, we really don't have much confidence in getting a good ranking in the college entrance examination this time. Hey, don't worry about the entrance exam. You missed such a long time to upgrade, and you are in vain for the key school. Dot dot dot. Discussions suddenly sounded from all around. Su Wu couldn't help asking. I remember that the imperial law stipulates that no one or any force is allowed to monopolize the copy. Aren't you afraid of the imperial professional committee? Ha ha, this little brother is really naive. The professional of the Dajiang guild couldn't help but sneer, why don't you ask? Who is the president of my Dajiang guild? He is the vice president of the Panjong city professional committee. We are afraid, ha ha, what a joke. Really, Su Wu frowned. He entered the Chenkin network, and opened the chat box with Zhang Ning, Captain Zhang. If I encounter illegal behavior, do you want to intervene? Yes, although our Imperial Special Talent Service Center is not specialized in this, it also has the power to enforce the law. If you encounter life-threatening situations, you can kill people in an area 30 kilometers away from the city. Zhang Ning's response came immediately. Su Wu asked, is it an encounter or a temporary mission? Do good things without leaving your name. If you leave your name, you must be tough to the end, not hard first and then soft. Being strong and domineering is our style of doing things, don't be afraid of anyone. Zhang Ning replied at the same time, and then replied again, Brother. We are not specialized in this. Do you understand? Okay, 
If they don't listen to my advice, I don't mind killing them. Su Wu was relieved after hearing this. He looked at the people who blocked the road. I'll inform you one last time, you have violated the imperial law. I give you five seconds to retreat immediately, otherwise don't blame me for being ruthless. I gave you face, right? The professional who blocked the road was immediately furious, who the hell are you? How dare you talk to me about the imperial law? I think you're crazy. Said. The professional took out his weapon. Seeing this, the other people in the Dajiang guild also looked at him like an idiot. Su Wu nodded. In that case, then accept the judgment of justice. As he said, he used the enslavement talent on this professional. Buzz, you successfully enslaved the 35th level second level professional Lan Sanju. You obtained Lan Sanju's dedication and obtained 5.43 million gold coins 9. You obtained magic equipment, blue water sword 9. You obtained magic equipment, goblin's fang 9. You obtained magic equipment, chief's crown 9. You obtained green suit, thunder belt 9. You obtained green suit, thunder arm armor 9. You obtained green suit, thunder boots 9. You obtained the material minotaur horn 102 asterisk 9. You obtained the material bazaar 20 asterisk 9. You obtained the material withered heart 6 asterisk 9. In the blink of an eye, Su Wu obtained a bunch of props and equipment. He first looked at the spoils. Thunder Belt. Green, Constitution plus 1000 points, Thunder Set, 0 sixths. Thunder Arm Armor. Green, Constitution plus 1000 points, Thunder Set, 0 sixths. Thunder Boots. Green, Constitution plus 1000 points, Thunder Set, 0 sixths. Torin Horn. Forging Material. Bazaar. Medicine and Alchemy Material. Withered Heart. Forging, Medicine and Alchemy, Inscription Material. Thunder Set. Su Wu's eyes flickered. This is a set unique to the Thunder Valley Dungeon. Because it only increases constitution. It is also known as the Blood Bull Set. The advantage of this set of equipment is that the blood is super thick. Even the second level professional has a demand for it. But there is one thing. The drop rate of this set is extremely low and it can only be dropped in the Thunder Valley of Hell difficulty. Su Wu's eyes were fiery after seeing it. Buzz. At this moment, a light suddenly flashed behind him. Be careful, the other people who were blocked by the professionals of the Dajiang Guild saw a shadow suddenly appear behind Su Wu, and they hurriedly warned loudly. Humph. Die. Trash. The assassin who backstabbed Su Wu roared in a low voice, and he waved the dagger in his hand and stabbed Su Wu in the back. Crash. In the astonished eyes of the onlookers, I saw. Su Wu released a ball of cold air. The breath drifted. The assassin froze in midair. The dozen people from the Dajiang Guild who gathered within a radius of 30 meters turned into ice sculptures at the same time. A piece of frost appeared on the ground. Buzz. At this moment, Su Wu suddenly rushed forward into the square in front of the copy. Before other people from the Dajiang Guild could react, he directly released the imprisonment. In an instant. With Su Wu as the center. A mist instantly covered the entire square. On the square, more than 40 Dajiang Guild second turn 35th level professionals were instantly imprisoned in place. Su Wu did not stop. He quickly used the enslavement skill on the people around him. Within 10 seconds, a total of nearly 53 Dajiang Guild professionals on the square and the edge were all enslaved by Su Wu. Crash. When they knelt on the ground, farther away, everyone who was excluded from the dungeon couldn't help but look over here. Dajiang Guild hit a wall this time. Who? We don't have such a person in Dujong. No, benefactor Su Wu. Dot dot dot. Someone saw Su Wu's face through the blazing flames of the big bonfire. Su Wu was checking the spoils he had just obtained. This time he seized a large amount of equipment, materials and gold coins from the professionals of Dajiang Guild. Among them, the gold coins reached 103.42 million. There were about seven kinds of materials, as high as 10 million. There were more than 3,000 sets of equipment. Of course. These gains were blessed by Su Wu's King of Service seal nine times. These 53 professionals alone could not produce nine times their own supplies. Among these equipment, Su Wu obtained a total of 29 sets of thunder suits. In addition to the thunder belt, Thunder Arm Armor, and Thunder Boots obtained previously. There are also Thunder Helmet, 
Thunder Armor, and Thunder Knife. Thunder Helmet. Green, Constitution plus 1000 points, Thunder Set, 0 6 Thunder Armor. Green, Constitution plus 3000 points, Thunder Set, 0 6 Thunder Knife. Green, Constitution plus 1000 points, Thunder Set, 0 6 Two Pieces, Constitution plus 2000. Four Pieces, Constitution plus 3000. Six Pieces, Constitution plus 5000. Passive Skill. Hot Blood. For every one point of life lost, temporarily increase the damage value by two points. Ha! Huh, this set of equipment can bring a total of 18,000 points of constitution to the professional. And it comes with such a powerful passive skill. Su Wu Exhale. No wonder it is called the Blood Bull set. The more life points this set of equipment loses, the higher the damage it gains. Even the boss does not have such attack power and constitution. What a pity. He shook his head. As long as the level does not exceed his level 9, he can enslave the other party. No matter how thick the opponent's blood is. No matter how high the damage is. The enslaver is so domineering. At this moment, he put all the equipment into the slave space. Crash. Just as he walked towards the Thunder Valley dungeon, five professionals suddenly teleported out of the dungeon. Before the five people could see the situation clearly, Su Wu released the imprisonment skill again. Then, Five more subordinates were taken in. Among these five subordinates, there is also a mythical professional. This professional is already level 28. He has five thunder suits on him, and one more is about to be filled. The other four subordinates are all level 30 professionals who have not yet changed their jobs. They are one mage, one priest, and two warriors. Su Wu, idol. At this time, someone in the distance suddenly shouted. Su Wu turned his head and looked. The light of justice has dispelled the darkness. Anyone can enter Thunder Valley. He said. He looked at the Thunder Valley dungeon. Dungeon. Thunder Valley. Monster level. Level 20 to 30. Main rewards. Materials. Blue magic equipment. Green suit. Dungeon difficulty. Normal. Nightmare. Hell. Note. Your current level has reached level 30, and the dungeons of normal and nightmare difficulty will not benefit you. Looking at the prompt in front of him. Su Wu also had no hesitation. He directly chose the dungeon of hell difficulty. Buzz. In the blink of an eye, Su Wu and the 58 enslaved professionals of the Dajiang Guild disappeared in the square at the same time. The people outside the square looked at everything in front of them as if in a dream. Crash. It was not until this time that a black shadow emerged from the darkness. This is the second assassin of the Dajiang Guild. He wiped the cold sweat from his forehead and whispered to the professionals outside the square, Do you know who he is? What is Su Wu's identity? The scene was silent. No one responded to him. The assassin saw this and knew that the people in the guild had offended the professionals in Dujong City too harshly. He did not hesitate and hurried towards the direction of Panhe City. This is going to be a big deal. Someone couldn't help but yell. Crashed. Brothers. Su Wu saved our lives. This time, it was the fault of the Panhe Dajiang Guild. I will never allow my benefactor to fall into their revenge. I will go back to call for help. In a camp outside the square, a professional suddenly stood up and shouted righteously. The voice fell. The professional turned and ran towards the direction of Dujong City. The other professionals looked at each other. We are not people who don't repay a favor. Go, 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 go back and get help. That's right. Du Zhong is not afraid of Pan He. Go. 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 Dot dot dot. For a while, a large number of professionals turned around and ran towards Du Zhong City. Only some professionals stayed. They took advantage of this opportunity and hurried into the Thunder Valley. At this moment, Su Wu knew nothing about the outside world. He had entered the Thunder Valley dungeon of Hell difficulty. What came into view was a pile of rocks. There were also broken chevaux de frise placed in all directions on the road ahead. The ox head bones and broken battle flags seemed to indicate that this was a battlefield. According to the knowledge Su Wu had mastered in school, the Thunder Valley was originally a battlefield. The two warring parties were the Minotaur and the human race. In the end, the Minotaur occupied the valley and set up an outpost here. All the monsters in the Thunder Dungeon of Hell difficulty were level 30 Minotaur warriors. Su Wu led a group of enslaved professionals to the front. Soon, 
he arrived at the first camp. There were Torin warriors patrolling and guarding in the camp. The Torin warrior was about four meters tall, holding a giant battle axe. It looked quite intimidating from a distance. Su Wu used detection on the Torin warrior. Torin warrior, elite monster. Level, level 30. Strength, 5000. Agility, 3500. Spirit, 3500. Constitution, 10,000. Skill, Rage. This is much stronger than the Goblin Queen, the boss of the Dark Forest Hell level dungeon. Su Wu muttered softly. Jian Niu, the vice president of the Dajiang Guild next to him, hurriedly introduced to Su Wu, Master. The Torin warriors in this dungeon are famous for their thick blood and high damage. Coupled with the passive 100% crit effect brought by the Rage skill, they can almost kill ordinary level 30 professionals in seconds. If we want to pass the level, we need warriors wearing thunder equipment to stand in front to attract hatred, and the long-range mage will do magic damage, and cooperate with the control of the priest or the control skills of the control mage, so that we can pass the level with light injuries. Of course, if there are warriors with interruption skills and attack skills, it is not a problem to pass the Thunder Valley of Hell difficulty. He said seriously, this valley has a total of six levels. There are a total of 100 Torin warriors in the camps of the first five levels. There are 20 Torin warriors and one Torin lord in the sixth level. Dot dot dot. Su Wu nodded after hearing this, and then asked, Why did you close this dungeon? Master, the young master of our president will participate in the International Life and Death Trial College entrance examination the day after tomorrow, and wants to get a set of thunder suits. We are worried that someone will take the opportunity to brush the Hell Difficulty Dungeon and snatch the explosion rate we have worked so hard to get. Jian Niu explained respectfully. The young master Tang Tianbao couldn't help but shrink his neck and knelt on the ground. Master, please forgive me. I didn't know that my behavior would hinder you. Yes, Su Wu nodded, and with a group of free thugs, he went straight to the first level. Mu, in the camp, the Minotaur warriors roared in anger. A ball of red flame instantly burned on their bodies. This is the special effect brought by the violent skill. Poof, poof, the angry minotaur chopped one by one with an axe. The professionals of the Dajiang guild are basically no match for them. Only some professionals with control or dodge skills can fight with the minotaur warriors. But under Su Wu's command, these professionals are like warriors who are ready to die. Boom, soon, a minotaur warrior fell down seriously injured. At this time, at least 16 professionals were killed. Tang Tianbao, who was following Su Wu, had red eyes and couldn't help saying, Master. HMPH, kneel down, slap your mouth. Su Wu didn't wait for the other party to finish speaking, and snorted coldly. Snap, snap, snap. Tang Tianbao bent his knees, knelt on the ground with a thump, raised his hands and used all his strength to hit himself in the face. The crisp sound of slapping continued to ring. His face swelled into a pig's head after more than 10 seconds. Su Wu asked him to stop. Remember, what I said is the task you must complete at the cost of your life. Yes, Tang Tianbao knelt down and kowtowed. Su Wu did not enter the battlefield. He narrowed his eyes and said, Everything about me is forbidden to be told to anyone. At this time, he had already locked Tang Tianbao in the slave space forever. Compared to killing him, it is better to permanently enslave a mythical professional. This will definitely be beneficial to him in the future. Tang Tianbao bowed his head again. After the scolding, all the people in the Dajiang guild were dead. The angry minotaur warrior rushed towards Su Wu. Crash. At this time, the ghoul and Ari were summoned by Su Wu. Boom. Just as Tang Tianbao looked up, he fell into a wonderful dream with hazy eyes. Ari followed Su Wu's instructions and let Tang Tianbao enter the illusion of infinite time. Wow, a ghoul grabbed Tang Tianbao's collar and followed Su Wu. At this time, ten ghouls had beaten the Minotaur warrior to the point of near death and serious injury. Su Wu enslaved them one by one. Congratulations on successfully enslaving the Minotaur warrior. You get the dedication of the Minotaur warrior, experience plus 300 points 9. You get the Minotaur horn 9. You get Bazaar 9. You get Withered Heart 9. You get 5 Blood Crystals 9. After Su Wu enslaved all 20 Minotaurs, he got 54,000 experience points. Ari, Su Wu called, 
Ari came to a Minotaur warrior. She used the upgrade skill on the Tauren warrior. Buzz. The Tauren was promoted to level 1. Master. They need 50 attribute points for each level promotion. Ari said solemnly. In the past two days, she has accumulated a total of 686,000 attribute points. Enough to deal with any request from Su Wu. Su Wu's eyes lit up after hearing this. He looked at the Torin's panel. He saw that the growth value of the 31st level Torin warrior was extremely high. In other words, for each level promotion of the Torin warrior, the physique increased by 1000 points, and the other three attributes increased by 500 points. This is already very scary. Frenzy. Consume 100 points of spirit value, enter the frenzy state, temporarily gain 2 times the strength and 5 times the physique. Good, Su Wu said with satisfaction. He did not release this batch of Torin warriors. The Torin warriors have thick blood, good skills and growth. Keep a batch to use as meat shields. At the moment, he permanently fixed all 20 Minotaur warriors in the slave space and promoted them all to level 60 through level 10 blood crystals. He looked at the Minotaur Warriors panel again. Minotaur Warrior Elite Monster. Level. Level 60. Strength. 20,000. Agility. 18,500. Spirit. 18,500. Constitution. 40,000. Skill. Rage Level 3. Rage Level 3 Consume 100 points of spirit value. Enter the Rage State. Temporarily gain 6 times the strength and 15 times the constitution. Ha! Huh. Each level of the skill can increase 2 times the strength and 5 times the constitution. When the rage state is turned on, the Minotaur warrior has a constitution of 600,000. Su Wu exhaled a foul breath. Although the Minotaur warrior is still not as good as the ghoul. But it is much stronger than other monsters. Especially the rage skill. At that moment, Su Wu took the Torin warriors to the camp behind. With the fall of one camp after another. Su Wu came to the last checkpoint. The Torin Lord's tent. I saw, the Torin warriors in the camp were alert to the outside from various locations. A Torin leader that was four times larger than the Torin was emitting scarlet light all over his body and walking in the open space of the camp. Su Wu used detection on the Torin Lord. Torin Lord, elite boss. Level. Level 30. Strength. 15,000. Agility. 5,000. Spirit. 5,000. Constitution, 20,000. Skills, Rage, Sun Axe, Whirlwind Slash. Go, Su Wu ordered the ghouls and Torin warriors to attack the Torin Lord. Boom, in an instant, the camp fell into a melee. The Torin Lord and the Torin warriors first entered a violent state. Then, the Minotaur Lord swung his axe at the ghouls that were charging at him. I saw flames bursting from the axe. Boom, the ghouls were stopped by the violent air waves. The raging fire ignited the ghouls. It continued to lose blood. Minus 10 points of constitution. Minus 10 points of constitution. Comma. The ghoul was stunned by this injury. It rushed out again. The Minotaur Lord saw that the sun axe was useless. He grabbed the axe with both hands and launched a whirlwind slash. In an instant, there was a constant sound of wind in the camp. This forced most of the ghouls to step back. Suddenly. A ghoul jumped up out of thin air and used the bite skill on the Minotaur Lord. Puff, puff, I saw, the Minotaur Lord fell to the ground with a bang. Half of its head was almost bitten off. It entered a state of serious injury and near death. Su Wu couldn't help but cheer when he saw this. The ghoul had reached level 60 at this moment. Ghoul, identity, Su Wu's slave. Level, 60, strength, 36,805,120. Agility, 36,803,584. Spirit, 36,802,560. Constitution, 36,804,096. Skill, Bite, 6. Talent, Gnawing Evolution, 6. Bite, 6 launches a fierce bite on the target, causing 3,940 damage to the target, with a 430% chance of causing a critical hit. Gnawing Evolution, 6 Gnawing Corpses can increase the ghoul's growth value and skill damage. Growth Value, 20 W, Skill Damage Bonus, 900 points. This was already the lightest blow from the ghoul. Even so, they still followed Su Wu's instructions and dealt the monsters the lightest blow. 
Su Wu enslaved the Torin Lord. Buzz. Congratulations on successfully enslaving the Torin Lord. You received the Torin Lord's dedication. Experience plus 20,000 points 9. You received the Green Suit. Thunder Suit 9. You received 2 Bezoars 9. You received 3 Withered Hearts 9. You received 2 Torin Horns 9. You received 10 Blood Crystals 9. Hum, just gave me the suit. Su Wu laughed. This is so cool. The Dajiang Guild took great pains to call in the second level professional to escort their new mythical professional. All for a set of Thunder Suit. Su Wu only needs to enslave the Torin Lord. He can directly obtain the suit through the other party's dedication. And he gets nine times the amount. This is so cool. He then arranged for Ari to test the Torin Lord. In this test, he found that the growth of the Torin Lord was not as high as that of the Torin Warrior. This was really weird. Master, this is because the Torin believe in the supremacy of blood. Those with high level blood are born nobles, and those with low level blood have their ranks determined from birth even if they have high growth talents. Ari explained to Su Wu. Su Wu nodded. This is not much different from the professional ranks of us humans. The only difference is, the profession is randomly selected, and the rank is also random. You will not be given a mythical profession just because your blood is noble and your family is powerful. Then, he released 20 Torin warriors and one Torin lord in the last camp. Congratulations on successfully releasing the Torin lord. You get 20,000 experience 5, 10 blood crystals 5 as a thank you. Congratulations on successfully releasing the Torin warrior. You received 300 experience points 5 and 5 blood crystals 5 thanks. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.